Deuteronomy. Chapter 1. These, are, the words which Moses hath spoken unto all Israel, beyond the Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against Suf, between Paran and Tophel, and Laban, and Hazroth, and Dezahab. Eleven days from Horeb, the way of Mount Seir, unto Kadesh Barnea. And it cometh to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first of the month hath Moses spoken unto the sons of Israel according to all that Jehovah hath commanded him concerning them. After his smiting Sion king of the Amorite who is dwelling in Heshbon, and O.G. king of Bashan who is dwelling in Ashtaroth in Edrei. Beyond the Jordan, in the land of Moab, hath Moses begun to explain this law, saying, Jehovah our God hath spoken unto us in Horeb, saying, Enough to you, of dwelling in this mount. Turn ye and journey for you, and enter the mount of the Amorite, and unto all its neighboring places, in the plain, in the hill country, and in the low country, and in the south, and in the haven of the sea, the land of the Canaanite, and of Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Frat. See, I have set before you the land, go in and possess the land which Jehovah hath sworn to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them, and to their seed after them. And I speak unto you at that time, saying, I am not able by myself to bear you. Jehovah your God hath multiplied you, and lo, ye, are, today as the stars of the heavens for multitude. Jehovah, God of your fathers, is adding to you, as ye, are, a thousand times, and doth bless you as he hath spoken to you. How do I bear by myself your pressure, and your burden, and your strife? Give for yourselves men, wise and intelligent, and known to your tribes, and I set them for your heads. And ye answer me and say, Good, is, the thing which thou hast spoken, to do. And I take the heads of your tribes, men, wise and known, and I appoint them heads over you, princes of thousands, and princes of hundreds, and princes of fifties, and princes of tens, and authorities, for your tribes. And I command your judges at that time, saying, Hearkening between your brethren, then ye have judged righteousness between a man, and his brother, and his sojourner. Ye do not discern faces in judgment, as the little so the great ye do here, ye are not afraid of the face of any, for the judgment is God's, and the thing which is too hard for you, ye bring near unto me, and I have heard it. And I command you, at that time, all the things which ye do. And we journey from Horeb, and go, through, all that great and fearful wilderness which ye have seen, the way of the hill country of the Amorite, as Jehovah our God hath commanded us, and we come in unto Kadesh Barnea. And I say unto you, ye have come in unto the hill country of the Amorite, which Jehovah our God is giving to us. See, Jehovah thy God hath set before thee the land, go up, possess, as Jehovah, God of thy fathers, hath spoken to thee, fear not, nor be affrighted. And ye come near unto me, all of you, and say, Let us send men before us, and they search for us the land, and they bring us back word, concerning, the way in which we go up into it, and the cities unto which we come in. And the thing is good in mine eyes, and I take of you twelve men, one man for a tribe. And they turn and go up to the hill country, and come in unto the valley of Eshcol, and spy it. And they take with their hand of the fruit of the land, and bring down unto us, and bring us back word, and say, Good is the land which Jehovah our God is giving to us. And ye have not been willing to go up, and ye provoke the mouth of Jehovah your God. And murmur in your tents, and say, In Jehovah's hating us he hath brought us out of the land of Egypt, to give us into the hand of the Amorite, to destroy us. Whither are we going up? Our brethren have melted our heart, saying, a people greater and taller than we, cities great and fenced to heaven, and also sons of Anakim, we have seen there. And I say unto you, Be not terrified, nor be afraid of them. Jehovah your God, who is going before you, he doth fight for you, according to all that he hath done with you in Egypt before your eyes. And in the wilderness, where thou hast seen that Jehovah thy God hath borne thee as a man beareth his son, in all the way which ye have gone, till you're coming in unto this place. And in this thing ye are not steadfast in Jehovah your God. 
who is going before you in the way to search out to you a place for your encamping, in fire by night, to shew you in the way in which ye go, and in a cloud by day? And Jehovah heareth the voice of your words, and is wroth, and sweareth, saying, Not one of these men of this evil generation doth see the good land which I have sworn to give to your fathers. Save Caleb son of Jephunneh, he doth see it, and to him I give the land on which he hath trodden, and to his sons, because that he hath been fully after Jehovah. Also with me hath Jehovah been angry for your sake, saying, Also, thou dost not go in thither. Joshua son of Nun, who is standing before thee, he goeth in thither, him strengthen thou, for he doth cause Israel to inherit. And your infants, of whom ye have said, for a prey they are, and your sons who have not known today good and evil, they go in thither, and to them I give it, and they possess it. And ye, turn for yourselves, and journey toward the wilderness, the way of the Red Sea. And ye answer and say unto me, We have sinned against Jehovah, we, we go up, and we have fought, according to all that which Jehovah our God hath commanded us, and ye gird on each his weapons of war, and ye are ready to go up into the hill country. And Jehovah saith unto me, Say to them, Ye do not go up, nor fight, for I am not in your midst, and ye are not smitten before your enemies. And I speak unto you, and ye have not hearkened, and provoke the mouth of Jehovah, and act proudly, and go up into the hill country. And the Amorite who is dwelling in that hill country cometh out to meet you, and they pursue you as the bees do, and smite you in Seir unto Hormah. And ye turn back and weep before Jehovah, and Jehovah hath not hearkened to your voice, nor hath he given ear unto you. And ye dwell in Kadesh many days, according to the days which ye had dwelt. Chapter 2 And we turn, and journey into the wilderness, the way of the Red Sea, as Jehovah hath spoken unto me, and we go round the mount of Seir many days. And Jehovah speaketh unto me, saying, Enough to you is the going round of this mount, turn for yourselves northward. And the people command thou, saying, Ye are passing over into the border of your brethren, sons of Esau, who are dwelling in Seir, and they are afraid of you, and ye have been very watchful. Ye do not strive with them, for I do not give to you of their land even the treading of the sole of a foot, for a possession to Esau I have given Mount Seir. Food ye buy from them with money, and have eaten, and also water ye buy from them with money, and have drunk. For Jehovah thy God hath blessed thee in all the work of thy hands, he hath known thy walking in this great wilderness these forty years, Jehovah thy God, is, with thee, thou hast not lacked anything. And we pass by from our brethren, sons of Esau, who are dwelling in Seir, by the way of the plain, by Elath, and by Ezion Gaber, and we turn, and pass over the way of the wilderness of Moab. And Jehovah saith unto me, Do not distress Moab, nor stir thyself up against them, in, battle, for I do not give to thee of their land, for, a possession, for to the sons of Lot I have given Ar, for, a possession. The Emim formerly have dwelt in it, a people great, and numerous, and tall, as the Anakim. Rephaim they are reckoned, they also, as the Anakim, and the Moabites call them Emim. And in Seir have the Horam dwelt formerly, and the sons of Esau dispossess them, and destroy them from before them, and dwell in their stead, as Israel hath done to the land of his possession, which Jehovah hath given to them. Now, rise ye, and pass over for yourselves the brook Zird, and we pass over the brook Zird. And the days which we have walked from Kadesh Barnea until that we have passed over the brook Zird, are, thirty and eight years, till the consumption of all the generation of the men of battle from the midst of the camp, as Jehovah hath sworn to them. And also the hand of Jehovah hath been against them, to destroy them from the midst of the camp, till they are consumed. And it cometh to pass, when all the men of battle have finished dying from the midst of the people. That Jehovah speaketh unto me, saying, Thou art passing over today the border of Moab, even Ar. And thou hast come near over against the sons of Ammon, thou dost not distress them, nor stir up thyself against them, for I do not give, any, of the land of the sons of Ammon to thee, for, a possession, for to the sons of Lot I have given it, for, a possession. A land of Rephaim it is reckoned, 
even it, Rephaim dwelt in it formerly, and the Ammonites call them Zamzumim. A people great, and numerous, and tall, as the Anakim, and Jehovah destroyeth them before them, and they dispossess them, and dwell in their stead. As he hath done for the sons of Esau, who are dwelling in Seir, when he destroyed the Horem from before them, and they dispossess them, and dwell in their stead, unto this day. As to the Avim who are dwelling in Hazrim unto Azza, the Kaphtarim, who are coming out from Kaphtar, have destroyed them, and dwell in their stead. Rise ye, journey and pass over the brook Arnon, see, I have given into thy hand Sion king of Heshbon, the Amorite, and his land, begin to possess, and stir up thyself against him, in, battle. This day I begin to put thy dread and thy fear on the face of the peoples under the whole heavens, who hear thy fame, and have trembled and been pained because of thee. And I send messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth, unto Sion king of Heshbon, words of peace, saying. Let me pass over through thy land, in the several ways I go, I turn not aside, right or left. Food for money thou dost sell me, and I have eaten, and water for money thou dost give to me, and I have drunk, only, let me pass over on my feet. As the sons of Esau who are dwelling in Seir, and the Moabites who are dwelling in Ar, have done to me, till that I pass over the Jordan, unto the land which Jehovah our God is giving to us. And Sion king of Heshbon hath not been willing to let us pass over by him, for Jehovah thy God hath hardened his spirit, and strengthened his heart, so as to give him into thy hand as at this day. And Jehovah saith unto me, See, I have begun to give before thee Sion in his land, begin to possess, to possess his land. And Sion cometh out to meet us, he and all his people, to battle to Jehaz. And Jehovah our God giveth him before us, and we smite him, and his sons, and all his people. And we capture all his cities at that time, and devote the whole city, men, and the women, and the infants, we have not left a remnant. Only, the cattle we have spoiled for ourselves, and the spoil of the cities which we have captured. From Aroer, which, is, by the edge of the brook Arnon, and the city which, is, by the brook, even unto Gilead there hath not been a city which, is, too high for us, the whole hath Jehovah our God given before us. Only, unto the land of the sons of Ammon thou hast not drawn near, any part of the brook Jabbok, and cities of the hill country, and anything which Jehovah our God hath, not, commanded. Chapter 3 And we turn, and go up the way to Bashan, and O G king of Bashan cometh out to meet us, he and all his people, to battle, to, Edrei. And Jehovah saith unto me, Fear him not, for into thy hand I have given him, and all his people, and his land, and thou hast done to him as thou hast done to Sion king of the Amorite who is dwelling in Heshbon. And Jehovah our God giveth into our hands also O G king of Bashan, and all his people, and we smite him till there hath not been left to him a remnant. And we capture all his cities at that time, there hath not been a city which we have not taken from them, sixty cities, all the region of Argob, the kingdom of O G in Bashan. All these, are, cities fenced with high walls, two-leaved doors and bar, apart from cities of villages very many. And we devote them, as we have done to Sion king of Heshbon, devoting every city, men, the women, and the infants. And all the cattle, and the spoil of the cities, we have spoiled for ourselves. And we take, at that time, the land out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorite, which is beyond the Jordan, from the brook Arnon unto Mount Hermon. Sidonians call Hermon, Sirion, and the Amorites call it Sinir. All the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, unto Salca and Edrei, cities of the kingdom of O.G. in Bashan. For only O.G. king of Bashan had been left of the remnant of the Rephaim, lo, his bedstead, is, a bedstead of iron, is it not in Rabbath of the sons of Ammon? Nine cubits its length, and four cubits its breadth, by the cubit of a man. And this land we have possessed, at that time, from Aroer, which, is, by the brook Arnon, and the half of Mount Gilead, and its cities, I have given to the Reubenite, and to the Gadite. And the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, 
I have given to the half-tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argob, to all that Bashan, called the land of Rephaim. Jair son of Manasseh hath taken all the region of Argob, unto the border of Geshuri, and Machathi, and calleth them by his own name, Bashan haveth Jair, unto this day. And to Makir I have given Gilead. And to the Reubenite and to the Gadite I have given from Gilead even unto the brook Arnon, the middle of the valley and the border, even unto Jabbok the brook, the border of the sons of Ammon. And the plain, and the Jordan, and the border, from Chinnereth even unto the sea of the plain, the salt sea, under the springs of Pisgah, at the sun, rising. And I command you, at that time, saying, Jehovah your God hath given to you this land to possess it, armed ye pass over before your brethren the sons of Israel, all the sons of might. Only, your wives, and your infants, and your cattle, I have known that ye have much cattle, do dwell in your cities which I have given to you. Till that Jehovah give rest to your brethren like yourselves, and they also have possessed the land which Jehovah your God is giving to them beyond the Jordan, then ye have turned back each to his possession, which I have given to you. And Jehoshua I have commanded at that time, saying, Thine eyes are seeing all that which Jehovah your God hath done to these two kings, so doth Jehovah to all the kingdoms whither thou art passing over. Fear them not, for Jehovah your God, he is fighting for you. And I entreat for grace unto Jehovah, at that time, saying, Lord Jehovah, thou, thou hast begun to shew thy servant thy greatness, and thy strong hand, for who, is, a God in the heavens or in earth who doth according to thy works, and according to thy might? Let me pass over, I pray thee, and see the good land which, is, beyond the Jordan, this good hill country, and Lebanon. And Jehovah sheweth himself wroth with me, for your sake, and hath not hearkened unto me, and Jehovah saith unto me, Enough for thee, add not to speak unto me any more about this thing. Go up, to, the top of Pisgah, and lift up thine eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and see with thine eyes, for thou dost not pass over this Jordan. And charge Jehoshua, and strengthen him, and harden him, for he doth pass over before this people, and he doth cause them to inherit the land which thou sayest. And we dwell in a valley over against Beth Peor. Chapter 4 And now, Israel, hearken unto the statutes, and unto the judgments which I am teaching you to do, so that ye live, and have gone in, and possessed the land which Jehovah God of your fathers is giving to you. Ye do not add to the word which I am commanding you, nor diminish from it, to keep the commands of Jehovah your God which I am commanding you. Your eyes are seeing that which Jehovah hath done in Balpeor, for every man who hath gone after Balpeor, Jehovah thy God hath destroyed him from thy midst. And ye who are cleaving to Jehovah your God, are, alive, all of you, today. See, I have taught you statutes and judgments, as Jehovah my God hath commanded me, to do so, in the midst of the land whither ye are going in to possess it. And ye have kept and done, them, for it, is, your wisdom and your understanding, before the eyes of the peoples who hear all these statutes, and they have said, only, a people wise and understanding, is, this great nation. For which, is, the great nation that hath God near unto it, as Jehovah our God, in all we have called unto him? And which, is, the great nation which hath righteous statutes and judgments according to all this law which I am setting before you today? Only, take heed to thyself, and watch thy soul exceedingly, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they turn aside from thy heart, all days of thy life, and thou hast made them known to thy sons, and to thy sons' sons. The day when thou hast stood before Jehovah thy God in Horeb in Jehovah's saying unto me, Assemble to me the people, and I cause them to hear my words, so that they learn to fear me all the days that they are alive on the ground, and their sons they teach. And ye draw near and stand under the mountain, and the mountain is burning with fire unto the heart of the heavens, darkness, cloud, yea, thick darkness. And Jehovah speaketh unto you out of the midst of the fire, a voice of words ye are hearing and a similitude ye are not seeing, only a voice. And he declareth to you his covenant, which he hath commanded you to do, the ten matters, and he writeth them upon two tables of stone. 
And me hath Jehovah commanded at that time to teach you statutes and judgments, for you're doing them in the land whither ye are passing over to possess it. And ye have been very watchful of your souls, for ye have not seen any similitude in the day of Jehovah speaking unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire. Lest ye do corruptly, and have made to you a graven image, a similitude of any figure, a form of male or female. A form of any beast which, is, in the earth a form of any winged bird which fleeth in the heavens. A form of any creeping thing on the ground a form of any fish which, is, in the waters under the earth. And lest thou lift up thine eyes towards the heavens, and hast seen the sun, and the moon, and the stars, all the host of the heavens, and thou hast been forced, and hast bowed thyself to them, and served them, which Jehovah thy God hath apportioned to all the peoples under the whole heavens. And you hath Jehovah taken, and he is bringing you out from the iron furnace, from Egypt, to be to him for a people an inheritance, as, at, this day. And Jehovah hath shewed himself wroth with me because of your words, and sweareth to my not passing over the Jordan, and to my not going in unto the good land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee an inheritance. For I am dying in this land, I am not passing over the Jordan, and ye are passing over, and have possessed this good land. Take heed to yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of Jehovah your God, which he hath made with you, and have made to yourselves a graven image, a similitude of anything, concerning, which Jehovah thy God hath charged thee. For Jehovah thy God is a fire-consuming, a zealous God. When thou begettest sons and sons' sons, and ye have become old in the land, and have done corruptly, and have made a graven image, a similitude of anything, and have done the evil thing in the eyes of Jehovah, to provoke him to anger. I have cause to testify against you this day the heavens and the earth, that ye do perish utterly hastily from off the land whither ye are passing over the Jordan to possess it, ye do not prolong days upon it, but are utterly destroyed. And Jehovah hath scattered you among the peoples, and ye have been left few in number among the nations, whither Jehovah letteth you. And ye have served their gods, work of man's hands, wood and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. And ye have sought from thence Jehovah thy God, and hast found, when thou seekest him with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. In distress, being, to thee, and all these things have found thee, in the latter end of the days, and thou hast turned back unto Jehovah thy God, and hast hearkened to his voice. For a merciful God, is, Jehovah thy God, he doth not fail thee, nor destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he hath sworn to them. For, ask, I pray thee, at the former days which have been before thee, from the day that God prepared man on the earth, and from the, one, end of the heavens even unto the, other, end of the heavens, whether there hath been as this great thing or hath been heard like it? Hath a people heard the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire, as thou hast heard, thou, and doth live? Or hath God tried to go in to take to himself, a nation from the midst of a nation, by trials, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a strong hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great terrors according to all that Jehovah your God hath done to you, in Egypt, before your eyes? Thou, thou hast been shown, it, to know that Jehovah he, is, God, there is none else besides him. From the heavens he hath caused thee to hear his voice, to instruct thee, and on earth he hath shewed thee his great fire, and his words thou hast heard out of the midst of the fire. And because that he hath loved thy fathers, he doth also fix on their seed after them, and doth bring thee out, in his presence, by his great power, from Egypt. To dispossess nations greater and stronger than thou, from thy presence, to bring thee in to give to thee their land, an inheritance, as, at, this day. And thou hast known today, and hast turned, it, back unto thy heart, that Jehovah he, is, God, in the heavens above, and on the earth beneath, there is none else. And thou hast kept his statutes and his commands which I am commanding thee today, so that it is well to thee, and to thy sons after thee, and so that thou prolongest days on the ground which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee all the days. Then Moses separateth three cities beyond the Jordan, towards the sun rising. For the fleeing thither of the manslayer, who slayeth his neighbor unknowingly, 
and he is not hating him heretofore, and he hath fled unto one of these cities, and he hath lived. Bezer, in the wilderness, in the land of the plain, of the Reubenite, and Ramoth, in Gilead, of the Gadite, and Golan, in Bashan, of the Manassehite. And this, is, the law which Moses hath set before the sons of Israel. These, are, the testimonies, and the statutes, and the judgments, which Moses hath spoken unto the sons of Israel, in their coming out of Egypt. Beyond the Jordan, in the valley over against Beth Peor, in the land of Sion, king of the Amorite, who is dwelling in Heshbon, whom Moses and the sons of Israel have smitten, in their coming out of Egypt. And they possess his land, and the land of Og king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorite who, are, beyond the Jordan, towards, the sun rising. From Aroer, which, is, by the edge of the brook Arnon, even unto Mount Shaun, which, is, Hermon. And all the plain beyond the Jordan eastward, even unto the sea of the plain, under the springs of Pisgah. Chapter 5 And Moses calleth unto all Israel, and saith unto them, Hear, Israel, the statutes and the judgments which I am speaking in your ears today, and ye have learned them, and have observed to do them. Jehovah our God made with us a covenant in Horeb. Not with our fathers hath Jehovah made this covenant, but with us, we, these, here today all of us alive. Face to face hath Jehovah spoken with you, in the mount, out of the midst of the fire. I am standing between Jehovah and you, at that time, to declare to you the word of Jehovah, for ye have been afraid from the presence of the fire, and ye have not gone up into the mount, saying, I Jehovah, am, thy God, who hath brought thee out from the land of Egypt, from a house of servants. Thou hast no other gods in my presence. Thou dost not make to thee a graven image, any similitude which, is, in the heavens above, and which, is, in the earth beneath, and which, is, in the waters under the earth. Thou dost not bow thyself to them nor serve them, for I Jehovah thy God, am, a zealous God, charging iniquity of fathers on children, and on a third, generation, and on a fourth, to those hating me. And doing kindness to thousands, to those loving me, and to those keeping my commands. Thou dost not take up the name of Jehovah thy God for a vain thing, for Jehovah doth not acquit him who taketh up his name for a vain thing. Observe the day of the Sabbath, to sanctify it, as Jehovah thy God hath commanded thee. Six days thou dost labor, and hast done all thy work. And the seventh day, is, a Sabbath to Jehovah thy God, thou dost not do any work, thou, and thy son, and thy daughter, and thy manservant, and thy handmaid, and thine ox, and thine ass, and all thy cattle, and thy sojourner who, is, within thy gates, so that thy manservant, and thy handmaid doth rest like thyself. And thou hast remembered that a servant thou hast been in the land of Egypt, and Jehovah thy God is bringing thee out thence by a strong hand, and by a stretched out arm, therefore hath Jehovah thy God commanded thee to keep the day of the Sabbath. Honor thy father and thy mother, as Jehovah thy God hath commanded thee, so that thy days are prolonged, and so that it is well with thee, on the ground which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee. Thou dost not murder. Thou dost not commit adultery. Thou dost not steal. Thou dost not answer against thy neighbor a false testimony. Thou dost not desire thy neighbor's wife, nor dost thou covet thy neighbor's house, his field, and his manservant, and his handmaid, his ox, and his ass, and anything which, is, thy neighbor's. These words hath Jehovah spoken unto all your assembly, in the mount out of the midst of the fire, of the cloud, and of the thick darkness a great voice, and he hath not added, and he writeth them on two tables of stone, and giveth them unto me. And it cometh to pass as ye hear the voice out of the midst of the darkness, and of the mountain burning with fire, that ye come near unto me, all the heads of your tribes, and your elders. And say, Lo, Jehovah our God hath shewed us his honour, and his greatness, and his voice we have heard out of the midst of the fire, this day we have seen that God doth speak with man, and he hath lived. And, now, why do we die? For consume us doth this great fire if we add to hear the voice of Jehovah our God any more, than we have died. 
For who of all flesh, is, he who hath heard the voice of the living God speaking out of the midst of the fire like us and doth live? Draw near thou, and hear all that which Jehovah our God saith, and thou, thou dost speak unto us all that which Jehovah our God speaketh unto thee, and we have hearkened, and done it. And Jehovah heareth the voice of your words, in your speaking unto me, and Jehovah saith unto me, I have heard the voice of the words of this people which they have spoken unto thee, they have done well, in, all that they have spoken. O oh, that their heart had been thus to them, to fear me, and to keep my commands all the days, that it may be well with them, and with their sons to the age. Go, say to them, turn back for yourselves, to your tents. And thou here stand thou with me, and let me speak unto thee all the command, and the statutes, and the judgments which thou dost teach them, and they have done in the land which I am giving to them to possess it. And ye have observed to do as Jehovah your God hath commanded you, ye turn not aside, right or left. In all the way which Jehovah your God hath commanded you ye walk, so that ye live, and, it is, well with you, and ye have prolonged days in the land which ye possess. Chapter 6 And this, is, the command, the statutes and the judgments which Jehovah your God hath commanded to teach you, to do in the land which ye are passing over thither to possess it. So that thou dost fear Jehovah thy God, to keep all his statutes and his commands, which I am commanding thee, thou, and thy son, and thy son's son, all days of thy life, and so that thy days are prolonged. And thou hast heard, O Israel, and observe to do, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest multiply exceedingly, as Jehovah, God of thy fathers, hath spoken to thee, in, the land flowing with milk and honey. Here, O Israel, Jehovah our God, is, one Jehovah. And thou hast loved Jehovah thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I am commanding thee today have been on thine heart. And thou hast repeated them to thy sons, and spoken of them in thy sitting in thine house, and in thy walking in the way, and in thy lying down, and in thy rising up. And hast bound them for a sign upon thy hand, and they have been for frontlets between thine eyes. And thou hast written them on doorposts of thy house, and on thy gates. And it hath been, when Jehovah thy God doth bring thee in unto the land which he hath sworn to thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to thee, cities great and good, which thou hast not built. And houses full of all good things which thou hast not filled, and wells digged which thou hast not digged, vineyards and olive yards which thou hast not planted, and thou hast eaten, and been satisfied. Take heed to thyself lest thou forget Jehovah who hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of a house of servants. Jehovah thy God thou dost fear, and him thou dost serve, and by his name thou dost swear. Ye do not go after other gods, of the gods of the peoples who, are, round about you. For a zealous God, is, Jehovah thy God in thy midst lest the anger of Jehovah thy God burn against thee, and he hath destroyed thee from off the face of the ground. Ye do not try Jehovah your God as ye tried in Massa. Ye do diligently keep the commands of Jehovah your God, and his testimonies, and his statutes which he hath commanded thee. And thou hast done that which is right and good in the eyes of Jehovah, so that it is well with thee, and thou hast gone in and possessed the good land which Jehovah hath sworn to thy fathers. To drive away all thine enemies from thy presence, as Jehovah hath spoken. When thy son asketh thee hereafter, saying, What, are, the testimonies, and the statutes, and the judgments, which Jehovah our God hath commanded you? Then thou hast said to thy son, Servants we have been to Pharaoh in Egypt, and Jehovah bringeth us out of Egypt by a high hand. And Jehovah giveth signs and wonders, great and sad, on Egypt, on Pharaoh, and on all his house, before our eyes. And us he hath brought out thence, in order to bring us in, to give to us the land which he had sworn to our fathers. And Jehovah commandeth us to do all these statutes, to fear Jehovah our God, for good to ourselves all the days, to keep us alive, as, at, this day. And righteousness it is for us, when we observe to do all this command before Jehovah our God, as he hath commanded us. Chapter 7 
When Jehovah thy God doth bring thee in unto the land whither thou art going in to possess it, and he hath cast out many nations from thy presence, the Hittite, and the Girgashite, and the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite, seven nations more numerous and mighty than thou. And Jehovah thy God hath given them before thee, and thou hast smitten them, thou dost utterly devote them, thou dost not make with them a covenant, nor dost thou favor them. And thou dost not join in marriage with them, thy daughter thou dost not give to his son, and his daughter thou dost not take to thy son. For he doth turn aside thy son from after me, and they have served other gods, and the anger of Jehovah hath burned against you, and hath destroyed thee hastily. But thus thou dost to them, their altars ye break down, and their standing pillars ye shiver, and their shrines ye cut down, and their graven images ye burn with fire. For a holy people, art, thou to Jehovah thy God, on thee hath Jehovah thy God fixed, to be to him for a peculiar people, out of all the peoples who, are, on the face of the ground. Not because of your being more numerous than any of the peoples hath Jehovah delighted in you, and fixeth on you, for ye, are, the least of all the peoples. But because of Jehovah's loving you, and because of his keeping the oath which he hath sworn to your fathers, hath Jehovah brought you out by a strong hand, and doth ransom you from a house of servants, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. And thou hast known that Jehovah thy God he, is, God, the faithful God, keeping the covenant, and the kindness, to those loving him, and to those keeping his commands, to a thousand generations. And repaying to those hating him, unto their face, to destroy them, he delayeth not to him who is hating him, unto his face, he repayeth to him. And thou hast kept the command, and the statutes, and the judgments, which I am commanding thee today to do them. And it hath been, because ye hear these judgments, and have kept, and done them, that Jehovah thy God hath kept to thee the covenant and the kindness which he hath sworn to thy fathers. And hath loved thee, and blessed thee, and multiplied thee, and hath blessed the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy ground, thy corn, and thy new wine, and thine oil, the increase of thine oxen, and the wealth of thy flock, on the ground which he hath sworn to thy fathers to give to thee. Blessed art thou above all the peoples, there is not in thee a barren man or a barren woman, nor among your cattle. And Jehovah hath turned aside from thee every sickness, and none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou hast known, doth he put on thee, and he hath put them on all hating thee. And thou hast consumed all the peoples whom Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, thine eye hath no pity on them, and thou dost not serve their gods, for a snare it is to thee. When thou sayest in thine heart, These nations are more numerous than I, how am I able to dispossess them? Thou art not afraid of them, thou dost surely remember that which Jehovah thy God hath done to Pharaoh, and to all Egypt. The great trials which thine eyes have seen, and the signs, and the wonders, and the strong hand, and the stretched out arm, with which Jehovah thy God hath brought thee out, so doth Jehovah thy God to all the peoples of whose presence thou art afraid. And also the locust doth Jehovah thy God send among them, till the destruction of those who are left, and of those who are hidden from thy presence. Thou art not terrified by their presence, for Jehovah thy God, is, in thy midst, a God great and fearful. And Jehovah thy God hath cast out these nations from thy presence little, by little, thou art not able to consume them hastily, lest the beast of the field multiply against thee. And Jehovah thy God hath given them before thee, and destroyed them, a great destruction, till their destruction. And he hath given their kings into thy hand, and thou hast destroyed their name from under the heavens, no man doth station himself in thy presence till thou hast destroyed them. The graven images of their gods ye do burn with fire, thou dost not desire the silver and gold on them, nor hast thou taken, it, to thyself, lest thou be snared by it, for the abomination of Jehovah thy God it, is. And thou dost not bring in an abomination unto thy house or thou hast been devoted like it, thou dost utterly detest it, and thou dost utterly abominate it, for it, is, devoted. Chapter 8 all the command which I am commanding thee today ye observe to do, so that ye live, and have multiplied, and gone in, and possessed the land which Jehovah hath sworn to your fathers. 
And thou hast remembered all the way which Jehovah thy God hath caused thee to go these forty years in the wilderness, in order to humble thee to try thee, to know that which, is, in thy heart, whether thou dost keep his commands or not. And he doth humble thee, and cause thee to hunger and doth cause thee to eat the manna, which thou hast not known, even thy fathers have not known, in order to cause thee to know that not by bread alone doth man live, but by every produce of the mouth of Jehovah man doth live. Thy raiment hath not worn out from off thee, and thy foot hath not swelled these forty years. And thou hast known, with thy heart, that as a man chastiseth his son Jehovah thy God is chastising thee. And thou hast kept the commands of Jehovah thy God, to walk in his ways, and to fear him. For Jehovah thy God is bringing thee in unto a good land, a land of brooks of waters, of fountains, and of depths coming out in valley and in mountain. A land of wheat, and barley, and vine, and fig, and pomegranate, a land of oil olive and honey. A land in which without scarcity thou dost eat bread, thou dost not lack anything in it, a land whose stones, are, iron, and out of its mountains thou dost dig brass. And thou hast eaten, and been satisfied, and hast blessed Jehovah thy God, on the good land which he hath given to thee. Take heed to thyself, lest thou forget Jehovah thy God so as not to keep his commands, and his judgments, and his statutes which I am commanding thee today. Lest thou eat, and hast been satisfied, and good houses dost build, and hast inhabited. And thy herd and thy flock be multiplied, and silver and gold be multiplied to thee, and all that is thine be multiplied. And thy heart hath been high, and thou hast forgotten Jehovah thy God, who is bringing thee out of the land of Egypt, out of a house of servants. Who is causing thee to go in the great and the terrible wilderness, burning serpent, and scorpion, and thirst, where there is no water, who is bringing out to thee waters from the flinty rock? Who is causing thee to eat manna in the wilderness, which thy fathers have not known, in order to humble thee, and in order to try thee, to do thee good in thy latter end? And thou hast said in thy heart, My power, and the might of my hand, hath made for me this wealth. And thou hast remembered Jehovah thy God, for he it, is, who is giving to thee power to make wealth, in order to establish his covenant which he hath sworn to thy fathers as, at, this day. And it hath been, if thou really forget Jehovah thy God, and hast gone after other gods, and served them, and bowed thyself to them, I have testified against you today that ye do utterly perish. As the nations whom Jehovah is destroying from your presence, so ye perish, because ye hearken not to the voice of Jehovah your God. Chapter 9 Hear, Israel, thou art passing over today the Jordan, to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced in the heavens. A people great and tall, sons of Anakim, whom thou, thou hast known, and thou, thou hast heard, who doth station himself before sons of Anak. And thou hast known today, that Jehovah thy God, is, he who is passing over before thee, a fire consuming, he doth destroy them, and he doth humble them before thee, and thou hast dispossessed them, and destroyed them hastily, as Jehovah hath spoken to thee. Thou dost not speak in thy heart, in Jehovah thy God's driving them away from before thee, saying, For my righteousness hath Jehovah brought me in to possess this land, seeing for the wickedness of these nations is Jehovah dispossessing them from thy presence. Not for thy righteousness, and for the uprightness of thy heart, art thou going in to possess their land, but for the wickedness of these nations is Jehovah thy God dispossessing them from before thee, and in order to establish the word which Jehovah hath sworn to thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And thou hast known, that not for thy righteousness is Jehovah thy God giving to thee this good land to possess it, for a people stiff of neck thou, art. Remember, do not forget, that, with, which thou hast made Jehovah thy God wroth in the wilderness, even from the day that thou hast come out of the land of Egypt till your coming in unto this place rebels ye have been with Jehovah. Even in Horeb ye have made Jehovah wroth, and Jehovah sheweth himself angry against you, to destroy you. In my going up into the mount to receive the tables of stone, tables of the covenant which Jehovah hath made with you, and I abide in the mount forty days and forty nights, bread I have not eaten, and water I have not drunk. 
And Jehovah giveth unto me the two tables of stone written with the finger of God, and on them according to all the words which Jehovah hath spoken with you in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly. And it cometh to pass, at the end of forty days and forty nights, Jehovah hath given unto me the two tables of stone, tables of the covenant. And Jehovah saith unto me, Rise, go down, hasten from this, for thy people hath done corruptly, whom thou hast brought out of Egypt, they have turned aside hastily out of the way which I have commanded them, they have made to themselves a molten thing. And Jehovah speaketh unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and lo, a people stiff of naked, is. Desist from me, and I destroy them, and blot out their name from under the heavens, and I make thee become a nation more mighty and numerous than it. And I turn, and come down from the mount, and the mount is burning with fire, and the two tables of the covenant on my two hands. And I see, and lo, ye have sinned against Jehovah your God, ye have made to yourselves a molten calf, ye have turned aside hastily out of the way which Jehovah hath commanded you. And I lay hold on the two tables, and cast them out of my two hands, and break them before your eyes. And I throw myself before Jehovah, as at first, forty days and forty nights, bread I have not eaten, and water I have not drunk, because of all your sins which ye have sinned, by doing the evil thing in the eyes of Jehovah, to make him angry. For I have been afraid because of the anger and the fury with which Jehovah hath been wroth against you, to destroy you, and Jehovah doth hearken unto me also at this time. And with Aaron hath Jehovah shewed himself very angry, to destroy him, and I pray also for Aaron at that time. And your sin, which ye have made, the calf, I have taken, and I burn it with fire, and beat it, grinding well till that it, is, small as dust, and I cast its dust unto the brook which is going down out of the mount. And in Tabra, and in Massa, and in Kibroth Hadavava, ye have been making Jehovah wroth. And in Jehovah sending you from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up, and possess the land which I have given to you, then ye provoke the mouth of Jehovah your God, and have not given credence to him, nor hearkened to his voice. Rebels ye have been with Jehovah from the day of my knowing you. And I throw myself before Jehovah, the forty days and the forty nights, as I had thrown myself, for Jehovah hath said to destroy you. And I pray unto Jehovah, and say, Lord Jehovah, destroy not thy people, and thine inheritance, whom thou hast ransomed in thy greatness, whom thou hast brought out of Egypt with a strong hand. Be mindful of thy servants, of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, turn not unto the stiffness of this people, and unto its wickedness, and unto its sin. Lest the land say from which thou hast brought us out, because of Jehovah's want of ability to bring them in unto the land of which he hath spoken to them, and because of his hating them, he brought them out to put them to death in the wilderness. And they, are, thy people, and thine inheritance, whom thou hast brought out by thy great power, and by thy stretched out arm. Chapter 10 At that time hath Jehovah said unto me, Grave for thee two tables of stone, like the first, and come up unto me, into the mount, and thou hast made for thee an ark of wood. And I write on the tables the words which were on the first tables, which thou hast broken, and thou hast placed them in the ark. And I make an ark of shittim wood, and grave two tables of stone like the first, and go up to the mount, and the two tables in my hand. And he writeth on the tables, according to the first writing, the ten matters, which Jehovah hath spoken unto you in the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly, and Jehovah giveth them unto me. And I turn and come down from the mount, and put the tables in the ark which I had made, and they are there, as Jehovah commanded me. And the sons of Israel have journeyed from Beeroth of the sons of Jachin to Mazra, there Aaron died, and he is buried there, and Eleazar his son doth act as priest in his stead. Thence they journeyed to Gudgoda, and from Gudgoda to Jotbatha, a land of brooks of water. At that time hath Jehovah separated the tribe of Levi, to bear the ark of the covenant of Jehovah, to stand before Jehovah, to serve him, and to bless in his name, unto this day. Therefore there hath not been to Levi a portion and inheritance with his brethren, Jehovah himself, is, his inheritance, as Jehovah thy God hath spoken to him. And I, I have stood in the mount, 
as the former days, forty days and forty nights, and Jehovah hearkeneth unto me also at that time, Jehovah hath not willed to destroy thee. And Jehovah saith unto me, Rise, go to journey before the people, and they go in and possess the land which I have sworn to their fathers to give to them. And now, Israel, what is Jehovah thy God asking from thee, except to fear Jehovah thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Jehovah thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul? To keep the commands of Jehovah, and his statutes which I am commanding thee today, for good to thee? Lo, to Jehovah thy God, are, the heavens and the heavens of the heavens, the earth and all that, is, in it. Only in thy fathers hath Jehovah delighted to love them, and he doth fix on their seed after them, on you, out of all the peoples as, at, this day. And ye have circumcised the foreskin of your heart, and your neck ye do not harden any more. For Jehovah your God, he, is, God of the gods, and Lord of the lords, God, the great, the mighty, and the fearful, who accepteth not persons, nor taketh a bribe. He is doing the judgment of fatherless and widow, and loving the sojourner, to give to him bread and raiment. And ye have loved the sojourner, for sojourners ye were in the land of Egypt. Jehovah thy God thou dost fear, him thou dost serve, and to him thou dost cleave, and by his name thou dost swear. He, is, thy praise, and he, is, thy God, who hath done with thee these great and fearful, things, which thine eyes have seen. With seventy persons did thy fathers go down to Egypt, and now hath Jehovah thy God made thee as stars of the heavens for multitude. Chapter 11 And thou hast loved Jehovah thy God, and kept his charge, and his statutes, and his judgments, and his commands, all the days. And ye have known today, for it is not your sons who have not known, and who have not seen the chastisement of Jehovah your God, his greatness, his strong hand, and his stretched out arm. And his signs, and his doings, which he hath done in the midst of Egypt, to Pharaoh king of Egypt, and to all his land. And that which he hath done to the force of Egypt, to its horses, and to its chariot, when he hath caused the waters of the Red Sea to flow against their faces in their pursuing after them, and Jehovah destroyeth them, unto this day. And that which he hath done to you in the wilderness, till your coming in unto this place. And that which he hath done to Dathan, and to Abram, sons of Eliab, sons of Reuben, when the earth hath opened her mouth and swalloweth them, and their houses, and their tents, and all that liveth, which is at their feet, in the midst of all Israel. But, it is, your eyes which are seeing all the great work of Jehovah, which he hath done. And ye have kept all the command which I am commanding thee today, so that ye are strong, and have gone in, and possessed the land whither ye are passing over to possess it. And so that ye prolong days on the ground which Jehovah hath sworn to your fathers to give to them and to their seed, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land whither thou art going in to possess it, is not as the land of Egypt whence ye have come out, where thou sowest thy seed, and hast watered with thy foot, as a garden of the green herb. But the land whither ye are passing over to possess it, is, a land of hills and valleys, of the rain of the heavens it drinketh water. A land which Jehovah thy God is searching, continually, are, the eyes of Jehovah thy God upon it, from the beginning of the year even unto the latter end of the year. And it hath been, if thou hearken diligently unto my commands which I am commanding you today, to love Jehovah your God, and to serve him with all your heart, and with all your soul. That I have given the rain of your land in its season, sprinkling and gathered, and thou hast gathered thy corn, and thy new wine, and thine oil. And I have given herbs in thy field for thy cattle, and thou hast eaten, and been satisfied. Take heed to yourselves, lest your heart be enticed, and ye have turned aside, and served other gods, and bowed yourselves to them. And the anger of Jehovah hath burned against you, and he hath restrained the heavens, and there is no rain, and the ground doth not give her increase, and ye have perished hastily from off the good land which Jehovah is giving to you. And ye have placed these my words on your heart, and on your soul, and have bound them for a sign on your hand, and they have been for frontlets between your eyes. And ye have taught them to your sons, by speaking of them in thy sitting in thy house, and in thy going in the way, and in thy lying down, 
and in thy rising up. And hast written them on the side posts of thy house, and on thy gates. So that your days are multiplied, and the days of your sons, on the ground which Jehovah hath sworn to your fathers to give to them, as the days of the heavens on the earth. For, if ye diligently keep all this command which I am commanding you, to do it, to love Jehovah your God, to walk in all his ways, and to cleave to him. Then hath Jehovah dispossessed all these nations from before you, and ye have possessed nations, greater and mightier than you. Every place on which the sole of your foot treadeth is yours, from the wilderness, and Lebanon, from the river, the river Frat, even unto the farther sea is your border. No man doth station himself in your presence, your dread and your fear doth Jehovah your God put on the face of all the land on which ye tread, as he hath spoken to you. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a reviling. The blessing, when ye hearken unto the commands of Jehovah your God, which I am commanding you today. And the reviling, if ye do not hearken unto the commands of Jehovah your God, and have turned aside out of the way which I am commanding you today, to go after other gods which ye have not known. And it hath been, when Jehovah thy God doth bring thee in unto the land whither thou art going in to possess it, that thou hast given the blessing on Mount Gerizim, and the reviling on Mount Ebel. Are they not beyond the Jordan, behind the way of the going in of the sun, in the land of the Canaanite, who is dwelling in the plain over against Gilgal, near the oaks of Moor? For ye are passing over the Jordan to go in to possess the land which Jehovah your God is giving to you, and ye have possessed it and dwelt in it. And observe to do all the statutes and the judgments which I am setting before you today. Chapter 12 These, are, the statutes and the judgments which ye observe to do in the land which Jehovah, God of thy fathers, hath given to thee to possess it, all the days that ye are living on the ground. Ye do utterly destroy all the places where the nations which ye are dispossessing serve their gods, on the high mountains, and on the heights, and under every green tree. And ye have broken down their altars, and shivered their standing pillars, and their shrines ye burn with fire, and graven images of their gods ye cut down, and have destroyed their name out of that place. Ye do not do so to Jehovah your God. But unto the place which Jehovah your God doth choose out of all your tribes to put his name there, to his tabernacle ye seek, and thou hast entered thither. And hast brought in thither your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand, and your vows, and your freewill offerings, and the firstlings of your herd and of your flock. And ye have eaten there before Jehovah your God, and have rejoiced in every putting forth of your hand, ye and your households, with which Jehovah thy God hath blessed thee. Ye do not do according to all that we are doing here today, each anything that is right in his own eyes. For ye have not come in hitherto unto the rest, and unto the inheritance, which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee. And ye have passed over the Jordan, and have dwelt in the land which Jehovah your God is causing you to inherit, and he hath given rest to you from all your enemies round about, and ye have dwelt confidently. And it hath been, the place on which Jehovah your God doth fix to cause his name to tabernacle there, thither ye bring in all that which I am commanding you, your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand, and all the choice of your vows which ye vow to Jehovah. And ye have rejoiced before Jehovah your God, ye, and your sons, and your daughters, and your men servants, and your handmaids, and the Levite who, is, within your gates, for he hath no part and inheritance with you. Take heed to thee, lest thou cause thy burnt offerings to ascend in any place which thou sayest. Except in the place which Jehovah doth choose in one of thy tribes, there thou dost cause thy burnt offerings to ascend, and there thou dost do all that which I am commanding thee. Only, with all the desire of thy soul thou dost sacrifice, and hast eaten flesh according to the blessing of Jehovah thy God which he hath given to thee, in all thy gates, the unclean and the clean do eat it, as of the roe, and as of the heart. Only, the blood ye do not eat, on the earth thou dost pour it as water. Thou art not able to eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, and of thy new wine, and thine oil, and the firstlings of thy herd and of thy flock, and any of thy vows which thou vowest, and thy freewill offerings, and heave offering of thy hand. But before Jehovah thy God thou dost eat it, 
in the place which Jehovah thy God doth fix on, thou, and thy son, and thy daughter, and thy manservant, and thy handmaid, and the Levite who, is, within thy gates, and thou hast rejoiced before Jehovah thy God in every putting forth of thy hand. Take heed to thee lest thou forsake the Levite all thy days on thy ground. When Jehovah thy God doth enlarge thy border, as he hath spoken to thee, and thou hast said, Let me eat flesh, for thy soul desireth to eat flesh, of all the desire of thy soul thou dost eat flesh. When the place is far from thee which Jehovah thy God doth choose to put his name there, then thou hast sacrificed of thy herd and of thy flock which Jehovah hath given to thee, as I have commanded thee, and hast eaten within thy gates, of all the desire of thy soul. Only, as the roe and the heart is eaten, so dost thou eat it, the unclean and the clean doth alike eat it. Only, be sure not to eat the blood, for the blood, is, the life, and thou dost not eat the life with the flesh. Thou dost not eat it, on the earth thou dost pour it as water. Thou dost not eat it, in order that it may be well with thee, and with thy sons after thee, when thou dost that which, is, right in the eyes of Jehovah. Only, thy holy things which thou hast, and thy vows, thou dost take up, and hast gone in unto the place which Jehovah doth choose. And thou hast made thy burnt offerings the flesh and the blood on the altar of Jehovah thy God, and the blood of thy sacrifices is poured out by the altar of Jehovah thy God, and the flesh thou dost eat. Observe, and thou hast obeyed all these words which I am commanding thee, in order that it may be well with thee and with thy sons after thee, to the age, when thou dost that which, is, good and right in the eyes of Jehovah thy God. When Jehovah thy God doth cut off the nations, whither thou art going in to possess them, from thy presence, and thou hast possessed them, and hast dwelt in their land. Take heed to thee, lest thou be snared after them, after their being destroyed out of thy presence, and lest thou inquire about their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods, and I do so, even I. Thou dost not do so to Jehovah thy God, for every abomination of Jehovah which he is hating they have done to their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they burn with fire to their gods. The whole thing which I am commanding you, it ye observe to do, thou dost not add unto it, nor diminish from it. Chapter 13 When there are saith in your midst a prophet, or a dreamer of a dream, and he hath given unto thee a sign or wonder. And the sign and the wonder hath come which he hath spoken of unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods, which thou hast not known, and serve them. Thou dost not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or unto that dreamer of the dream, for Jehovah your God is trying you, to know whether ye are loving Jehovah your God with all your heart, and with all your soul. After Jehovah your God ye walk, and him ye fear, and his commands ye keep, and to his voice ye hearken, and him ye serve, and to him ye cleave. And that prophet, or that dreamer of the dream, is put to death, for he hath spoken apostasy against Jehovah your God, who is bringing you out of the land of Egypt, and hath ransomed you out of a house of servants, to drive you out of the way in which Jehovah thy God hath commanded thee to walk, and thou hast put away the evil thing from thy midst. When thy brother, son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend who, is, as thine own soul doth move thee, in secret, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thou and thy fathers. Of the gods of the peoples who, are, round about you, who are near unto thee, or who are far off from thee, from the end of the earth even unto the end of the earth. Thou dost not consent to him, nor hearken unto him, nor doth thine eye have pity on him, nor dost thou spare, nor dost thou cover him over. But thou dost surely kill him, thy hand is on him, in the first place, to put him to death, and the hand of all the people last. And thou hast stoned him with stones, and he hath died, for he hath sought to drive thee away from Jehovah thy God, who is bringing thee out of the land of Egypt, out of a house of servants. And all Israel do hear and fear, and add not to do like this evil thing in thy midst. When thou hearest, in one of thy cities which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee to dwell there, one, saying. Men, sons of worthlessness, have gone out of thy midst, and they force away the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, 
which ye have not known. And thou hast inquired, and searched, and asked diligently, and lo, truth, the thing is established, this abomination hath been done in thy midst. Thou dost surely smite the inhabitants of that city by the mouth of the sword, devoting it, and all that, is, in it, even its cattle, by the mouth of the sword. And all its spoil thou dost gather unto the midst of its broad place, and hast burned with fire the city and all its spoil completely, before Jehovah thy God, and it hath been a heap age during, it is not built any more. And there doth not cleave to thy hand any of the devoted thing, so that Jehovah doth turn back from the fierceness of his anger, and hath given to thee mercies, and loved thee, and multiplied thee, as he hath sworn to thy fathers. When thou dost hearken to the voice of Jehovah thy God, to keep all his commands which I am commanding thee today, to do that which, is, right in the eyes of Jehovah thy God. Chapter 14 Sons ye, are, to Jehovah your God, ye do not cut yourselves, nor make baldness between your eyes for the dead. For a holy people, art, thou to Jehovah thy God, and on thee hath Jehovah fixed to be to him for a people, a peculiar treasure, out of all the peoples who, are, on the face of the ground. Thou dost not eat any abominable thing. This, is, the beast which ye do eat, ox, lamb of the sheep, or kid of the goats. Hart, and roe, and fallow deer, and wild goat, and pygog, and wild ox, and chamois. And every beast dividing the hoof, and cleaving the cleft into two hoofs, bringing up the cud, among the beasts, it ye do eat. Only, this ye do not eat, of those bringing up the cud, and of those dividing the cloven hoof, the camel, and the hare, and the rabbit, for they are bringing up the cud but the hoof have not divided, unclean they, are, to you. And the sow, for it is dividing the hoof, and not, bringing, up the cud, unclean it, is, to you, of their flesh ye do not eat, and against their carcass ye do not come. This ye do eat of all that, are, in the waters, all that hath fins and scales ye do eat. And anything which hath not fins and scales ye do not eat, unclean it, is, to you. Any clean bird ye do eat. And these, are, they of which ye do not eat, the eagle, and the ossifrage, and the osprey. And the gleed, and the kite, and the vulture after its kind. And every raven after its kind. And the owl, and the night hawk, and the cuckoo, and the hawk after its kind. The little owl, and the great owl, and the swan. And the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the cormorant. And the stork, and the heron after its kind, and the lapwing, and the bat. And every teeming thing which is flying, unclean it, is, to you, they are not eaten. Any clean fowl ye do eat. Ye do not eat of any carcass, to the sojourner who, is, within thy gates thou dost give it, and he hath eaten it, or sell, it, to a stranger, for a holy people thou, art, to Jehovah thy God, thou dost not boil a kid in its mother's milk. Thou dost certainly tithe all the increase of thy seed which the field is bringing forth year by year. And thou hast eaten before Jehovah thy God, in the place where he doth choose to cause his name to tabernacle, the tithe of thy corn, of thy new wine, and of thine oil, and the firstlings of thy herd, and of thy flock, so that thou dost learn to fear Jehovah thy God all the days. And when the way is too much for thee, that thou art not able to carry it, when the place is too far off from thee which Jehovah thy God doth choose to put his name there, when Jehovah thy God doth bless thee. Then thou hast given, it, in money, and hast bound up the money in thy hand, and gone unto the place on which Jehovah thy God doth fix. And thou hast given the money for any thing which thy soul desireth, for oxen, and for sheep, and for wine, and for strong drink, and for any thing which thy soul asketh, and thou hast eaten there before Jehovah thy God, and thou hast rejoiced, thou and thy house. As to the Levite who, is, within thy gates, thou dost not forsake him, for he hath no portion and inheritance with thee. At the end of three years thou dost bring out all the tithe of thine increase in that year, and hast placed, it, within thy gates. And come and hath the Levite, for he hath no part and inheritance with thee, and the sojourner, and the fatherless, and the widow, 
who, are, within thy gates, and they have eaten, and been satisfied, so that Jehovah thy God doth bless thee in all the work of thy hand which thou dost. Chapter 15 At the end of seven years thou dost make a release. And this, is, the matter of the release, every owner of a loan, is, to release his hand which he doth lift up against his neighbor, he doth not exact of his neighbor and of his brother, but hath proclaimed a release to Jehovah. Of the stranger thou mayest exact, and that which is thine with thy brother doth thy hand release. Only when there is no needy one with thee, for Jehovah doth greatly bless thee in the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee an inheritance to possess it. Only, if thou dost diligently hearken to the voice of Jehovah thy God, to observe to do all this command which I am commanding thee today. For Jehovah thy God hath blessed thee as he hath spoken to thee, and thou hast lent, to, many nations, and thou hast not borrowed, and thou hast ruled over many nations, and over thee they do not rule. When there is with thee any needy one of one of thy brethren, in one of thy cities, in thy land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, thou dost not harden thy heart, nor shut thy hand from thy needy brother. For thou dost certainly open thy hand to him, and dost certainly lend him sufficient for his lack which he lacketh. Take heed to thee lest there be a word in thy heart worthless, saying, Near, is, the seventh year, the year of release, and thine eye is evil against thy needy brother, and thou dost not give to him, and he hath called concerning thee unto Jehovah, and it hath been in thee sin. Thou dost certainly give to him, and thy heart is not sad in thy giving to him, for because of this thing doth Jehovah thy God bless thee in all thy works, and in every putting forth of thy hand. Because the needy one doth not cease out of the land, therefore I am commanding thee, saying, Thou dost certainly open thy hand to thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy one, in thy land. When thy brother is sold to thee, a Hebrew or a Hebrewess, and he hath served thee six years, then in the seventh year thou dost send him away free from thee. And when thou dost send him away free from thee, thou dost not send him away empty. Thou dost certainly encircle him out of thy flock, and out of thy threshing floor, and out of thy wine vat, of, that which Jehovah thy God hath blessed thee thou dost give to him. And thou hast remembered that a servant thou hast been in the land of Egypt, and Jehovah thy God doth ransom thee, therefore I am commanding thee this thing today. And it hath been, when he saith unto thee, I go not out from thee, because he hath loved thee, and thy house, because, it is, good for him with thee. Then thou hast taken the all, and hast put, it, through his ear, and through the door, and he hath been to thee a servant age during, and also to thy handmaid thou dost do so. It is not hard in thine eyes, in thy sending him away free from thee, for the double of the hire of an hireling he hath served thee six years, and Jehovah thy God hath blessed thee in all that thou dost. Every firstling that is born in thy herd and in thy flock, the male thou dost sanctify to Jehovah thy God, thou dost not work with the firstling of thine ox, nor shear the firstling of thy flock. Before Jehovah thy God thou dost eat it year by year, in the place which Jehovah doth choose, thou and thy house. And when there is in it a blemish, lame, or blind, any evil blemish, thou dost not sacrifice it to Jehovah thy God. Within thy gates thou dost eat it, the unclean and the clean alike, as the roe, and as the heart. Only, its blood thou dost not eat, on the earth thou dost pour it as water. Chapter 16 Observe the month of Abib and thou hast made a Passover to Jehovah thy God, for in the month of Abib hath Jehovah thy God brought thee out of Egypt by night. And thou hast sacrificed a Passover to Jehovah thy God, of the flock, and of the herd, in the place which Jehovah doth choose to cause his name to tabernacle there. Thou dost not eat with it any fermented thing, seven days thou dost eat with it unleavened things, bread of affliction, for in haste thou hast come out of the land of Egypt, so that thou dost remember the day of thy coming out of the land of Egypt all days of thy life. And there is not seen with thee leaven in all thy borders seven days, and there doth not remain of the flesh which thou dost sacrifice at evening on the first day till morning. Thou art not able to sacrifice the Passover within any of thy gates which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee. 
except at the place which Jehovah thy God doth choose to cause his name to tabernacle, there thou dost sacrifice the Passover in the evening, at the going in of the sun, the season of thy coming out of Egypt. And thou hast cooked and eaten in the place on which Jehovah thy God doth fix, and hast turned in the morning, and gone to thy tents. Six days thou dost eat unleavened things, and on the seventh day, is, a restraint to Jehovah thy God, thou dost do no work. Seven weeks thou dost number to thee, from the beginning of the sickle among the standing corn thou dost begin to number seven weeks. And thou hast made the feast of weeks to Jehovah thy God, a tribute of a freewill offering of thy hand, which thou dost give, as Jehovah thy God doth bless thee. And thou hast rejoiced before Jehovah thy God, thou, and thy son, and thy daughter, and thy manservant, and thy handmaid, and the Levite who, is, within thy gates, and the sojourner, and the fatherless, and the widow, who, are, in thy midst, in the place which Jehovah thy God doth choose to cause his name to tabernacle there. And thou hast remembered that a servant thou hast been in Egypt, and hast observed and done these statutes. The feast of booths thou dost make for thee seven days, in thine ingathering of thy threshing floor, and of thy wine vat. And thou hast rejoiced in thy feast, thou, and thy son, and thy daughter, and thy manservant, and thy handmaid, and the Levite, and the sojourner, and the fatherless, and the widow, who, are, within thy gates. Seven days thou dost feast before Jehovah thy God, in the place which Jehovah doth choose, for Jehovah thy God doth bless thee in all thine increase, and in every work of thy hands, and thou hast been only rejoicing. Three times in a year doth every one of thy males appear before Jehovah thy God in the place which he doth choose, in the feast of unleavened things, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of booths, and they do not appear before Jehovah empty. Each according to the gift of his hand, according to the blessing of Jehovah thy God, which he hath given to thee. Judges and authorities thou dost make to thee within all thy gates which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, for thy tribes, and they have judged the people, a righteous judgment. Thou dost not turn aside judgment, thou dost not discern faces, nor take a bribe, for the bribe blindeth the eyes of the wise, and perverteth the words of the righteous. Righteousness, righteousness thou dost pursue, so that thou livest, and hast possessed the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee. Thou dost not plant for thee a shrine of any trees near the altar of Jehovah thy God, which thou makest for thyself. And thou dost not raise up to thee any standing image which Jehovah thy God is hating. Chapter 17 Thou dost not sacrifice to Jehovah thy God ox or sheep in which there is a blemish any evil thing, for it, is, the abomination of Jehovah thy God. When there is found in thy midst, in one of thy cities which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, a man or a woman who doth the evil thing in the eyes of Jehovah thy God by transgressing his covenant. And he doth go and serve other gods, and doth bow himself to them, and to the sun, or to the moon, or to any of the host of the heavens, which I have not commanded. And it hath been declared to thee, and thou hast heard, and hast searched diligently, and lo, truth, the thing is established, this abomination hath been done in Israel. Then thou hast brought out that man, or that woman, who hath done this evil thing, unto thy gates, the man or the woman, and thou hast stoned them with stones, and they have died. By the mouth of two witnesses or of three witnesses is he who is dead put to death, he is not put to death by the mouth of one witness. The hand of the witnesses is on him, in the first place, to put him to death, and the hand of all the people last, and thou hast put away the evil thing out of thy midst. When anything is too hard for thee for judgment, between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke matters of strife within thy gates, then thou hast risen, and gone up unto the place on which Jehovah thy God doth fix. And hast come in unto the priests, the Levites, and unto the judge who is in those days, and hast inquired, and they have declared to thee the word of judgment. And thou hast done according to the tenor of the word which they declare to thee, they, of that place which Jehovah doth choose, and thou hast observed to do according to all that they direct thee. According to the tenor of the law which they direct thee, and according to the judgment which they say to thee thou dost do, 
thou dost not turn aside from the word which they declare to thee, right or left. And the man who acteth with presumption, so as not to hearken unto the priest, who is standing to serve their Jehovah thy God, or unto the judge, even that man hath died, and thou hast put away the evil thing from Israel. And all the people do hear and fear, and do not presume any more. When thou comest in unto the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, and hast possessed it, and dwelt in it, and thou hast said, Let me set over me a king like all the nations which, are, round about me. Thou dost certainly set over thee a king on whom Jehovah doth fix, from the midst of thy brethren thou dost set over thee a king, thou art not able to set over thee a stranger, who is not thy brother. Only, he doth not multiply to himself horses, nor cause the people to turn back to Egypt, so as to multiply horses, seeing Jehovah hath said to you, Ye do not add to turn back in this way any more. And he doth not multiply to himself wives, and his heart doth not turn aside, and silver and gold he doth not multiply to himself exceedingly. And it hath been, when he sitteth on the throne of his kingdom, that he hath written for himself the copy of this law, on a book, from, that, before the priests the Levites. And it hath been with him, and he hath read in it all days of his life, so that he doth learn to fear Jehovah his God, to keep all the words of this law, and these statutes, to do them. So that his heart is not high above his brethren, and so as not to turn aside from the command, right or left, so that he prolongeth days over his kingdom, he and his sons, in the midst of Israel. Chapter 18 There is not to the priests the Levites all the tribe of Levi, a portion and inheritance with Israel, fire offerings of Jehovah, even his inheritance, they eat. And he hath no inheritance in the midst of his brethren, Jehovah himself, is, his inheritance, as he hath spoken to him. And this is the priest's right from the people, from those sacrificing a sacrifice, whether ox or sheep, he hath even given to the priest the leg, and the two cheeks, and the stomach. The first of thy corn, of thy new wine, and of thine oil, and the first of the fleece of thy flock, thou dost give to him. For on him hath Jehovah thy God fixed, out of all thy tribes, to stand to serve in the name of Jehovah, he and his sons continually. And when the Levite cometh from one of thy cities out of all Israel, where he hath sojourned, and hath come with all the desire of his soul unto the place which Jehovah doth choose. Then he hath ministered in the name of Jehovah his God, like all his brethren, the Levites, who are standing there before Jehovah. Portion as portion they do eat, apart from his sold things, with the fathers. When thou art coming in unto the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, thou dost not learn to do according to the abominations of those nations. There is not found in the one causing his son and his daughter to pass over into fire, a user of divinations, an observer of clouds, and an enchanter, and a sorcerer, and a charmer, and one asking at a familiar spirit, and a wizard, and one seeking unto the dead. For the abomination of Jehovah, is, every one doing these, and because of these abominations is Jehovah thy God dispossessing them from thy presence. Perfect thou art with Jehovah thy God. For these nations whom thou art possessing, unto observers of clouds, and unto diviners, do hearken, and thou, not so hath Jehovah thy God suffered thee. A prophet out of thy midst, out of thy brethren, like to me, doth Jehovah thy God raise up to thee, unto him ye hearken. According to all that thou didst ask from Jehovah thy God, in Horeb, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not add to hear the voice of Jehovah my God, and this great fire let me not see any more, and I die not. And Jehovah saith unto me, They have done well that they have spoken. A prophet I raise up to them, out of the midst of their brethren, like to thee, and I have given my words in his mouth, and he hath spoken unto them all that which I command him. And it hath been, the man who doth not hearken unto my words which he doth speak in my name, I require, it, of him. Only, the prophet who presumeth to speak a word in my name, that which I have not commanded him to speak and who speaketh in the name of other gods, even that prophet hath died. And when thou sayest in thy heart, how do we know the word which Jehovah hath not spoken? That which the prophet speaketh in the name of Jehovah, and the thing is not, and cometh not, it, 
is, the word which Jehovah hath not spoken, in presumption hath the prophet spoken it, thou art not afraid of him. Chapter 19 When Jehovah thy God doth cut off the nations, whose land Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, and thou hast succeeded them, and dwelt in their cities, and in their houses. Three cities thou dost separate for thee in the midst of thy land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee to possess it. Thou dost prepare for thee the way, and hast divided into three parts the border of thy land which Jehovah thy God doth cause thee to inherit, and it hath been for the fleeing thither of every manslayer. And this, is, the matter of the manslayer who fleeth thither, and hath lived, he who smitteth his neighbor unknowingly, and is not hating him heretofore. Even he who cometh in with his neighbor into a forest to H. E. W. wood, and his hand hath driven with an axe to cut the tree, and the iron hath slipped from the wood, and hath met his neighbor, and he hath died, he doth flee unto one of these cities, and hath lived. Lest the Redeemer of blood pursue after the manslayer when his heart is hot, and hath overtaken him, because the way is great, and hath smitten him, the life, and he hath no sentence of death, for he is not hating him heretofore. Therefore I am commanding thee, saying, Three cities thou dost separate to thee. And if Jehovah thy God doth enlarge thy border, as he hath sworn to thy fathers, and hath given to thee all the land which he hath spoken to give to thy fathers. When thou keepest all this command to do it, which I am commanding thee today, to love Jehovah thy God, and to walk in his ways all the days, then thou hast added to thee yet three cities to these three. And innocent blood is not shed in the midst of thy land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee an inheritance, and there hath been upon thee blood. And when a man is hating his neighbor, and hath lain in wait for him, and risen against him, and smitten him, the life, and he hath died, and he hath fled unto one of these cities. Then the elders of his city have sent and taken him from thence, and given him into the hand of the Redeemer of blood, and he hath died. Thine eye hath no pity on him, and thou hast put away the innocent blood from Israel, and it is well with thee. Thou dost not remove a border of thy neighbor, which they of former times have made, in thine inheritance, which thou dost inherit in the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee to possess it. One witness doth not rise against a man for any iniquity, and for any sin, in any sin which he sinneth, by the mouth of two witnesses, or by the mouth of three witnesses, is a thing established. When a violent witness doth rise against a man, to testify against him apostasy. Then have both the men who have the strife stood before Jehovah, before the priests and the judges who are in those days. And the judges have searched diligently, and lo, the witness, is, a false witness, a falsehood he hath testified against his brother. Then ye have done to him as he devised to do to his brother, and thou hast put away the evil thing out of thy midst. And those who are left do hear and fear, and add not to do any more according to this evil thing in thy midst. And thine eye doth not pity life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Chapter 20 When thou goest out to battle against thine enemy, and hast seen horse and chariot, a people more numerous than thou, thou art not afraid of them, for Jehovah thy God, is, with thee, who is bringing thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it hath been, in your drawing near unto the battle, that the priest hath come nigh, and spoken unto the people. And said unto them, Here, Israel, ye are drawing near today to battle against your enemies, let not your hearts be tender, fear not, nor make haste, nor be terrified at their presence. For Jehovah your God, is, he who is going with you, to fight for you with your enemies, to save you. And the authorities have spoken unto the people, saying, Who, is, the man that hath built a new house, and hath not dedicated it? Let him go and turn back to his house, lest he die in battle, and another man dedicate it. And who, is, the man that hath planted a vineyard, and hath not made it common? Let him go and turn back to his house, lest he die in battle, and another man make it common. And who, is, the man that hath betrothed a woman, and hath not taken her? Let him go and turn back to his house, lest he die in battle, and another man take her. And the authorities have added to speak unto the people, and said, Who, is, 
the man that is afraid and tender of heart? Let him go and turn back to his house, and the heart of his brethren doth not melt like his heart. And it hath come to pass as the authorities finish to speak unto the people, that they have appointed princes of the hosts at the head of the people. When thou drawest near unto a city to fight against it, then thou hast called unto it for peace. And it hath been, if peace it answer thee, and hath opened to thee, then it hath come to pass, all the people who are found in it are to thee for tributaries, and have served thee. And if it doth not make peace with thee, and hath made with thee war, then thou hast laid siege against it. And Jehovah thy God hath given it into thy hand, and thou hast smitten every male of it by the mouth of the sword. Only, the women, and the infants, and the cattle, and all that is in the city, all its spoil, thou dost seize for thyself, and thou hast eaten the spoil of thine enemies which Jehovah thy God hath given to thee. So thou dost do to all the cities which are very far off from thee, which are not of the cities of these nations. Only, of the cities of these peoples which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, for, an inheritance, thou dost not keep alive any breathing. For thou dost certainly devote the Hittite, and the Amorite, the Canaanite, and the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, as Jehovah thy God hath commanded thee. So that they teach you not to do according to all their abominations which they have done to their gods, and ye have sinned against Jehovah your God. When thou layest siege unto a city many days, to fight against it, to capture it, thou dost not destroy its trees to force an axe against them, for of them thou dost eat, and them thou dost not cut down, for man's, is, the tree of the field, to go in at thy presence in the siege. Only, the tree, which thou knowest that it, is, not a fruit tree, it thou dost destroy, and hast cut down, and hast built a bulwark against the city which is making with thee war till thou hast subdued it. Chapter 21 When one is found slain on the ground which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee to possess it, fallen in a field, it is not known who hath smitten him. Then have thine elders and thy judges gone out and measured unto the cities which, are, round about the slain one. And it hath been, the city which, is, near unto the slain one, even the elders of that city have taken a heifer of the herd, which hath not been wrought with, which hath not drawn in the yoke. And the elders of that city have brought down the heifer unto a hard valley, which is not tilled nor sown, and have beheaded there the heifer in the valley. And the priests, sons of Levi, have come nigh, for on them hath Jehovah thy God fixed to serve him, and to bless in the name of Jehovah, and by their mouth is every strife, and every stroke. And all the elders of that city, who are near unto the slain one, do wash their hands over the heifer which is beheaded in the valley. And they have answered and said, Our hands have not shed this blood, and our eyes have not seen. Receive atonement for thy people Israel, whom thou hast ransomed, O Jehovah, and suffer not innocent blood in the midst of thy people Israel, and the blood hath been pardoned to them. And thou dost put away the innocent blood out of thy midst, for thou dost that which, is, right in the eyes of Jehovah. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and Jehovah thy God hath given them into thy hand, and thou hast taken captive its captivity, and hast seen in the captivity a woman of fair form, and hast delighted in her, and hast taken to thee for a wife. Then thou hast brought her in unto the midst of thy household, and she hath shaved her head, and prepared her nails. And turned aside the raiment of her captivity from off her, and hath dwelt in thy house, and bewailed her father and her mother a month of days, and afterwards thou dost go in unto her and hast married her, and she hath been to thee for a wife. And it hath been, if thou hast not delighted in her, that thou hast sent her away at her desire, and thou dost not at all sell her for money, thou dost not tyrannize over her, because that thou hast humbled her. When a man hath two wives, the one loved and the other hated, and they have borne to him sons, the loved one and the hated one, and the firstborn son hath been to the hated one. Then it hath been, in the day of his causing his sons to inherit that which he hath, he is not able to declare firstborn the son of the loved one, in the face of the son of the hated one, the firstborn. But the firstborn, son of the hated one, he doth acknowledge, to give to him a double portion of all that is found with him, for he, is, 
the beginning of his strength, to him, is, the right of the firstborn. When a man hath a son apostatizing and rebellious, he is not hearkening to the voice of his father, and to the voice of his mother, and they have chastised him, and he doth not hearken unto them. Then laid hold on him have his father and his mother, and they have brought him out unto the elders of his city, and unto the gate of his place. And have said unto the elders of his city, Our son, this one, is apostatizing and rebellious, he is not hearkening to our voice a glutton and drunkard. And all the men of his city have stoned him with stones, and he hath died, and thou hast put away the evil out of thy midst, and all Israel do hear and fear. And when there is in a man a sin a cause of death, and he hath been put to death, and thou hast hanged him on a tree. His corpse doth not remain on the tree, for thou dost certainly bury him in that day, for a thing lightly esteemed of God, is, the hanged one, and thou dost not defile thy ground which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee an inheritance. Chapter 22 Thou dost not see the ox of thy brother or his sheep driven away, and hast hidden thyself from them, thou dost certainly turn them back to thy brother. And if thy brother, is, not near unto thee, and thou hast not known him, then thou hast removed it unto the midst of thy house, and it hath been with thee till thy brother seek it, and thou hast given it back to him. And so thou dost to his ass, and so thou dost to his garment, and so thou dost to any lost thing of thy brother's, which is lost by him, and thou hast found it, thou art not able to hide thyself. Thou dost not see the ass of thy brother, or his ox, falling in the way, and hast hid thyself from them, thou dost certainly raise, them, up with him. The habiliments of a man are not on a woman, nor doth a man put on the garment of a woman, for the abomination of Jehovah thy God, is, any one doing these. When a bird's nest cometh before thee in the way, in any tree, or on the earth, brood or eggs, and the mother sitting on the brood or on the eggs, thou dost not take the mother with the young ones. Thou dost certainly send away the mother, and the young ones dost take to thyself, so that it is well with thee, and thou hast prolonged days. When thou buildest a new house, then thou hast made a parapet to thy roof, and thou dost not put blood on thy house when one falleth from it. Thou dost not sow thy vineyard, with, divers things, lest the fullness of the seed which thou dost sow, and the increase of the vineyard, be separated. Thou dost not plough with an ox and with an ass together. Thou dost not put on a mixed cloth, wool and linen together. Fringes thou dost make to thee on the four skirts of thy covering with which thou dost cover, thyself. When a man taketh a wife, and hath gone in unto her, and hated her, and laid against her actions of words, and brought out against her an evil name, and said, This woman I have taken, and I draw near unto her, and I have not found in her tokens of virginity. Then hath the father of the damsel and her mother taken and brought out the tokens of virginity of the damsel unto the elders of the city in the gate. And the father of the damsel hath said unto the elders, My daughter I have given to this man for a wife, and he doth hate her. And lo, he hath laid actions of words, saying, I have not found to thy daughter tokens of virginity, and these, are, the tokens of the virginity of my daughter. And they have spread out the garment before the elders of the city. And the elders of that city have taken the man, and chastise him. And find him a hundred silverlings, and given to the father of the damsel, because he hath brought out an evil name on a virgin of Israel, and she is to him for a wife, he is not able to send her away all his days. And if this thing hath been truth, tokens of virginity have not been found for the damsel. Then they have brought out the damsel unto the opening of her father's house, and stoned her have the men of her city with stones, and she hath died, for she hath done folly in Israel, to go a whoring, in, her father's house, and thou hast put away the evil thing out of thy midst. When a man is found lying with a woman, married to a husband, then they have died even both of them, the man who is lying with the woman, also the woman, and thou hast put away the evil thing out of Israel. When there is a damsel, a virgin, betrothed to a man, and a man hath found her in a city, and lain with her. Then ye have brought them both out unto the gate of that city, and stoned them with stones, and they have died, the damsel, because that she hath not cried, being, in a city, and the man, 
because that he hath humbled his neighbor's wife, and thou hast put away the evil thing out of thy midst. And if in a field the man find the damsel who is betrothed, and the man hath laid hold on her, and lain with her, then hath the man who hath lain with her died alone. And to the damsel thou dost not do anything, the damsel hath no deadly sin, for as a man riseth against his neighbor and hath murdered him, the life, so, is, this thing. For in a field he found her, she hath cried, the damsel who is betrothed, and she hath no savior. When a man findeth a damsel, a virgin who is not betrothed, and hath caught her, and lain with her, and they have been found. Then hath the man who is lying with her given to the father of the damsel fifty silverlings, and to him she is for a wife, because that he hath humbled her, he is not able to send her away all his days. A man doth not take his father's wife, nor uncover his father's skirt. Chapter 23 One wounded, bruised, or cut in the member doth not enter into the assembly of Jehovah. A bastard doth not enter into the assembly of Jehovah, even a tenth generation of him doth not enter into the assembly of Jehovah. An Ammonite and a Moabite doth not enter into the assembly of Jehovah, even a tenth generation of them doth not enter into the assembly of Jehovah, to the age. Because that they have not come before you with bread and with water in the way, in your coming out from Egypt, and because he hath hired against thee Balaam son of Beer, of Pether of Aram Naharim, to revile thee. And Jehovah thy God hath not been willing to hearken unto Balaam, and Jehovah thy God doth turn for thee the reviling to a blessing, because Jehovah thy God hath loved thee. Thou dost not seek their peace and their good all thy days, to the age. Thou dost not abominate an Edomite, for thy brother he, is, thou dost not abominate an Egyptian, for a sojourner thou hast been in his land. Sons who are begotten of them, a third generation of them, doth enter into the assembly of Jehovah. When a camp goeth out against thine enemies, then thou hast kept from every evil thing. When there is in thee a man who is not clean, from an accident at night, then he hath gone out unto the outside of the camp, he doth not come in unto the midst of the camp. And it hath been, at the turning of the evening, he doth bathe with water, and at the going in of the sun he doth come in unto the midst of the camp. And a station thou hast at the outside of the camp, and thou hast gone out thither without. And a nail thou hast on thy staff, and it hath been, in thy sitting without, that thou hast digged with it, and turned back, and covered thy filth. For Jehovah thy God is walking up and down in the midst of thy camp, to deliver thee, and to give thine enemies before thee, and thy camp hath been holy, and he doth not see in thee the nakedness of anything, and hath turned back from after thee. Thou dost not shut up a servant unto his Lord, who is delivered unto thee from his Lord. With thee he doth dwell, in thy midst, in the place which he chooseth within one of thy gates, where it is pleasing to him, thou dost not oppress him. There is not a whore among the daughters of Israel, nor is there a whoremonger among the sons of Israel. Thou dost not bring a gift of a whore, or a price of a dog, into the house of Jehovah thy God, for any vow, for the abomination of Jehovah thy God, are, even both of them. Thou dost not lend in usury to thy brother, usury of money, usury of food, usury of anything which is lent on usury. To a stranger thou mayest lend in usury, and to thy brother thou dost not lend in usury, so that Jehovah thy God doth bless thee in every putting forth of thy hand on the land whither thou goest in to possess it. When thou vowest a vow to Jehovah thy God, thou dost not delay to complete it, for Jehovah thy God doth certainly require it from thee, and it hath been in thee sin. And when thou forbearest to vow, it is not in thee a sin. The produce of thy lips thou dost keep, and hast done, it, as thou hast vowed to Jehovah thy God, a free will offering, which thou hast spoken with thy mouth. When thou comest in unto the vineyard of thy neighbor, then thou hast eaten grapes, according to thy desire, thy sufficiency, but into thy vessel thou dost not put any. When thou comest in among the standing corn of thy neighbor, then thou hast plucked the ears with thy hand, but a sickle thou dost not wave over the standing corn of thy neighbor. Chapter 24 When a man doth take a wife, and hath married her, and it hath been, if she doth not find grace in his eyes, for he hath found in her nakedness of anything, 
and he hath written for her a writing of divorce, and given, it, into her hand, and sent her out of his house. And she hath gone out of his house, and hath gone and been another man's. And the latter man hath hated her, and written for her a writing of divorce, and given, it, into her hand, and sent her out of his house, or when the latter man dieth, who hath taken her to himself for a wife. Her former husband who sent her away is not able to turn back to take her to be to him for a wife, after that she hath become defiled, for an abomination it, is, before Jehovah, and thou dost not cause the land to sin which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee an inheritance. When a man taketh a new wife, he doth not go out into the host, and, one, doth not pass over unto him for anything, free he is at his own house one year, and hath rejoiced his wife whom he hath taken. None doth take in pledge millstones, and rider, for life it, is, he is taking in pledge. When a man is found stealing a person, of his brethren, of the sons of Israel, and hath tyrannized over him, and sold him, then hath that thief died, and thou hast put away the evil thing out of thy midst. Take heed, in the plague of leprosy, to watch greatly, and to do according to all that the priests, the Levites, teach you, as I have commanded them ye observe to do. Remember that which Jehovah thy God hath done to Miriam in the way, in your coming out of Egypt. When thou liftest up on thy brother a debt of anything, thou dost not go in unto his house to obtain his pledge. At the outside thou dost stand, and the man on whom thou art lifting, it, up is bringing out unto thee the pledge at the outside. And if he is a poor man, thou dost not lie down with his pledge. Thou dost certainly give back to him the pledge at the going in of the sun, and he hath lain down in his own raiment, and hath blessed thee, and to thee it is righteousness before Jehovah thy God. Thou dost not oppress a hireling, poor and needy, of thy brethren or of thy sojourner who is in thy land within thy gates. In his day thou dost give his hire, and the sun doth not go in upon it, for he, is, poor, and unto it he is lifting up his soul, and he doth not cry against thee unto Jehovah, and it hath been in thee sin. Fathers are not put to death for sons, and sons are not put to death for fathers, each for his own sin, they are put to death. Thou dost not turn aside the judgment of a fatherless sojourner, nor take in pledge the garment of a widow. And thou hast remembered that a servant thou hast been in Egypt, and Jehovah thy God doth ransom thee from thence, therefore I am commanding thee to do this thing. When thou reapest thy harvest in thy field, and hast forgotten a sheaf in a field, thou dost not turn back to take it, to the sojourner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, it is, so that Jehovah thy God doth bless thee in all the work of thy hands. When thou beatest thine olive, thou dost not examine the branch behind thee, to the sojourner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, it is. When thou cuttest thy vineyard, thou dost not glean behind thee, to the sojourner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, it is. And thou hast remembered that a servant thou hast been in the land of Egypt, therefore I am commanding thee to do this thing. Chapter 25 When there is a strife between men, and they have come nigh unto the judgment, and they have judged, and declared righteous the righteous, and declared wrong the wrongdoer. Then it hath come to pass, if the wrongdoer is to be smitten, that the judge hath caused him to fall down, and, one, hath smitten him in his presence, according to the sufficiency of his wrongdoing, by number. Forty, times, he doth smite him, he is not adding, lest, he is adding to smite him above these, many stripes, and thy brother is lightly esteemed in thine eyes. Thou dost not muzzle an ox in its threshing. When brethren dwell together, and one of them hath died, and hath no son, the wife of the dead is not without to a strange man, her husband's brother doth go in unto her, and hath taken her to him for a wife, and doth perform the duty of her husband's brother. And it hath been, the firstborn which she beareth doth rise for the name of his dead brother, and his name is not wiped away out of Israel. And if the man doth not delight to take his brother's wife, then hath his brother's wife gone up to the gate, unto the elders, and said, My husband's brother is refusing to raise up to his brother a name in Israel, he hath not been willing to perform the duty of my husband's brother. And the elders of his city have called for him, and spoken unto him, and he hath stood and said, 
I have no desire to take her. Then hath his brother's wife drawn nigh unto him, before the eyes of the elders, and drawn his shoe from off his foot, and spat in his face, and answered and said, Thus it is done to the man who doth not build up the house of his brother. And his name hath been called in Israel the house of him whose shoe is drawn off. When men strive together, one with another, and the wife of the one hath drawn near to deliver her husband out of the hand of his smiter, and hath put forth her hand, and laid hold on his secrets. Then thou hast cut off her hand, thine eye doth not spare. Thou hast not in thy bag a stone and a stone, a great and a small. Thou hast not in thy house an ephah and an ephah, a great and a small. Thou hast a stone complete and just, thou hast an ephah complete and just, so that they prolong thy days on the ground which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee. For the abomination of Jehovah thy God, is, any one doing these things, any one doing iniquity. Remember that which Amalek hath done to thee in the way, in your going out from Egypt. That he hath met thee in the way, and smitteth in all those feeble behind thee, and thou wearied and fatigued, and is not fearing God. And it hath been, in Jehovah thy God's giving rest to thee, from all thine enemies round about, in the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, an inheritance to possess it, thou dost blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heavens, thou dost not forget. Chapter 26 And it hath been, when thou comest in unto the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, an inheritance, and thou hast possessed it, and dwelt in it. That thou hast taken of the first of all the fruits of the ground which thou dost bring in out of thy land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, and hast put, it, in a basket, and gone unto the place which Jehovah thy God doth choose to cause his name to tabernacle there. And thou hast come in unto the priest who is in those days, and hast said unto him, I have declared today to Jehovah thy God, that I have come in unto the land which Jehovah hath sworn to our fathers to give to us. And the priest hath taken the basket out of thy hand, and placed it before the altar of Jehovah thy God. And thou hast answered and said before Jehovah thy God, A perishing Aramean, is, my father. And he goeth down to Egypt, and sojourneth there with few men, and becometh there a nation, great, mighty, and numerous. And the Egyptians do us evil, and afflict us, and put on us hard service. And we cry unto Jehovah, God of our fathers, and Jehovah heareth our voice, and seeth our affliction, and our labor, and our oppression. And Jehovah bringeth us out from Egypt, by a strong hand, and by a stretched out arm, and by great fear, and by signs, and by wonders. And he bringeth us in unto this place, and giveth to us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And now, lo, I have brought in the first of the fruits of the ground which thou hast given to me, O Jehovah, and thou hast placed it before Jehovah thy God, and bowed thyself before Jehovah thy God. And rejoiced in all the good which Jehovah thy God hath given to thee, and to thy house, thou, and the Levite, and the sojourner who, is, in thy midst. When thou dost complete to tithe all the tithe of thine increase in the third year, the year of the tithe, then thou hast given to the Levite, to the sojourner, to the fatherless, and to the widow, and they have eaten within thy gates, and been satisfied. And thou hast said before Jehovah thy God, I have put away the separated thing out of the house, and also have given it to the Levite, and to the sojourner, and to the orphan, and to the widow, according to all thy command which thou hast commanded me. I have not passed over from thy commands, nor have I forgotten. I have not eaten in mine affliction of it, nor have I put away of it for uncleanness, nor have I given of it for the dead, I have hearkened to the voice of Jehovah my God, I have done according to all that thou hast commanded me. Look from thy holy habitation, from the heavens, and bless thy people Israel, and the ground which thou hast given to us, as thou hast sworn to our fathers, a land flowing, with, milk and honey. This day Jehovah thy God is commanding thee to do these statutes and judgments, and thou hast hearkened and done them with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. Jehovah thou hast cause to promise today to become thy God, and to walk in his ways, and to keep his statutes, and his commands, and his judgments, and to hearken to his voice. And Jehovah hath caused thee to promise today to become his people, a peculiar treasure, as he hath spoken to thee, 
and to keep all his commands. So as to make the uppermost above all the nations whom he hath made for a praise, and for a name, and for beauty, and for thy being a holy people to Jehovah thy God, as he hath spoken. Chapter 27 And Moses, the elders of Israel also, commandeth the people, saying, Keep all the command which I am commanding you today. And it hath been, in the day that ye pass over the Jordan unto the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, that thou hast raised up for thee great stones, and plasted them with plaster. And written on them all the words of this law in thy passing over, so that thou goest in unto the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee, a land flowing with milk and honey, as Jehovah, God of thy fathers, hath spoken to thee. And it hath been, in your passing over the Jordan, ye raise up these stones which I am commanding you today, in Mount Ebel, and thou hast plasted them with plaster. And built there an altar to Jehovah thy God, an altar of stones, thou dost not wave over them iron. Of complete stones thou buildest the altar of Jehovah thy God, and hast caused to ascend on it burnt offerings to Jehovah thy God. And sacrificed peace offerings, and eaten there, and rejoiced before Jehovah thy God and written on the stones all the words of this law, well engraved. And Moses speaketh, the priests, the Levites, also, unto all Israel, saying, Keep silent, and hear, O Israel, this day thou hast become a people to Jehovah thy God. And thou hast hearkened to the voice of Jehovah thy God, and done his commands, and his statutes, which I am commanding thee today. And Moses commandeth the people on that day, saying, these do stand, to bless the people, on Mount Jerizim, in your passing over the Jordan, Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Joseph, and Benjamin. And these do stand, for the reviling, on Mount Ebel, Reuben, Gad, and Asher, and Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. And the Levites have answered and said unto every man of Israel a loud voice. Cursed, is, the man who mocketh a graven and molten image, the abomination of Jehovah, work of the hands of an artificer, and hath put, it, in a secret place, and all the people have answered and said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is making light of his father and his mother, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is removing his neighbor's border, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is causing the blind to err in the way, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is turning aside the judgment of fatherless, sojourner, and widow, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is lying with his father's wife, for he hath uncovered his father's skirt, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is lying with any beast, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is lying with his sister, daughter of his father, or daughter of his mother, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is lying with his mother-in-law, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is smiting his neighbor in secret, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who is taking a bribe to smite a person, innocent blood, and all the people have said, Amen. Cursed, is, he who doth not establish the words of this law, to do them, and all the people have said, Amen. Chapter 28 And it hath been, if thou dost hearken diligently to the voice of Jehovah thy God, to observe to do all his commands which I am commanding thee today, that Jehovah thy God hath made thee uppermost above all the nations of the earth. And all these blessings have come upon thee, and overtaken thee, because thou dost hearken to the voice of Jehovah thy God. Blessed, art, thou in the city, and blessed, art, thou in the field. Blessed, is, the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, increase of thine oxen, and wealth of thy flock. Blessed, is, thy basket and thy kneading trough. Blessed, art, thou in thy coming in, and blessed, art, thou in thy going out. Jehovah giveth thine enemies, who are rising up against thee, smitten before thy face, in one way they come out unto thee, and in seven ways they flee before thee. Jehovah commandeth with thee the blessing in thy storehouses, 
and in every putting forth of thy hand, and hath blessed thee in the land which Jehovah thy God is giving to thee. Jehovah doth establish thee to himself for a holy people, as he hath sworn to thee, when thou keepest the commands of Jehovah thy God, and hast walked in his ways. And all the peoples of the land have seen that the name of Jehovah is called upon thee, and they have been afraid of thee. And Jehovah hath made thee abundant in good, in the fruit of the womb, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, on the ground which Jehovah hath sworn to thy fathers to give to thee. Jehovah doth open to thee his good treasure the heavens, to give the rain of thy land in its season, and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou hast lent to many nations, and thou, thou dost not borrow. And Jehovah hath given thee for head, and not for tail, and thou hast been only above, and art not beneath, for thou dost hearken unto the commands of Jehovah thy God, which I am commanding thee today, to keep and to do. And thou dost not turn aside from all the words which I am commanding you today, right or left, to go after other gods, to serve them. And it hath been, if thou dost not hearken unto the voice of Jehovah thy God to observe to do all his commands, and his statutes, which I am commanding thee today, that all these revilings have come upon thee, and overtaken thee. Cursed, art, thou in the city, and cursed, art, thou in the field. Cursed, is, thy basket and thy kneading trough. Cursed, is, the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, increase of thine oxen, and wealth of thy flock. Cursed, art, thou in thy coming in, and cursed, art, thou in thy going out. Jehovah doth send on thee the curse, the trouble, and the rebuke, in every putting forth of thy hand which thou dost, till thou art destroyed, and till thou perish hastily, because of the evil of thy doings, by, which thou hast forsaken me. Jehovah doth cause to cleave to thee the pestilence, till he consume thee from off the ground whither thou art going in to possess it. Jehovah doth smite thee with consumption, and with fever, and with inflammation, and with extreme burning, and with sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they have pursued thee till thou perish. And thy heavens which, are, over thy head have been brass, and the earth which, is, under the iron. Jehovah giveth the rain of thy land, dust and ashes, from the heavens it cometh down on thee till thou art destroyed. Jehovah giveth thee smitten before thine enemies, in one way thou goest out unto them, and in seven ways dost flee before them, and thou hast been for a trembling to all kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass hath been for food to every fowl of the heavens, and to the beast of the earth, and there is none causing trembling. Jehovah doth smite thee with the ulcer of Egypt, and with emeralds, and with scurvy, and with itch, of which thou art not able to be healed. Jehovah doth smite thee with madness, and with blindness, and with astonishment of heart. And thou hast been groppling at noon, as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou dost not cause thy ways to prosper, and thou hast been only oppressed and plundered all the days, and there is no Saviour. A woman thou dost betroth, and another man doth lie with her, a house thou dost build, and dost not dwell in it, a vineyard thou dost plant, and dost not make it common. Thine ox, is, slaughtered before thine eyes, and thou dost not eat of it, thine ass, is, taken violently away from before thee, and it is not given back to thee, thy sheep, are, given to thine enemies, and there is no saviour for thee. Thy sons and thy daughters, are, given to another people, and thine eyes are looking and consuming for them all the day, and thy hand is not to God. The fruit of thy ground, and all thy labour, eat up doth a people whom thou hast not known, and thou hast been only oppressed and bruised all the days. And thou hast been mad, because of the sight of thine eyes which thou dost see. Jehovah doth smite thee with an evil ulcer, on the knees, and on the legs, of which thou art not able to be healed, from the sole of thy foot even unto thy crown. Jehovah doth cause thee to go, and thy king whom thou raisest up over thee, unto a nation which thou hast not known, thou and thy fathers, and thou hast served their other gods, wood and stone. And thou hast been for an astonishment, for a simile, and for a byword among all the peoples whither Jehovah doth lead thee. Much seed thou dost take out into the field, and little thou dost gather in, for the locust doth consume it. Vineyards thou dost plant, 
and hast labored, and wine thou dost not drink nor gather, for the worm doth consume it. Olives are to thee in all thy border, and oil thou dost not pour out, for thine olive doth fall off. Sons and daughters thou dost beget, and they are not with thee, for they go into captivity. All thy trees and the fruit of thy ground doth the locust possess. The sojourner who, is, in thy midst goeth up above thee very high, and thou goest down very low. He doth lend, to, thee, and thou dost not lend, to, him, he is for head, and thou art for tail. And come upon thee have all these curses, and they have pursued thee, and overtaken thee, till thou art destroyed, because thou hast not hearkened to the voice of Jehovah thy God, to keep his commands, and his statutes, which he hath commanded thee. And they have been on thee for a sign and for a wonder, also on thy seed, to the age. Because that thou hast not served Jehovah thy God with joy, and with gladness of heart, because of the abundance of all things. Thou hast served thine enemies, whom Jehovah sendeth against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in lack of all things, and he hath put a yoke of iron on thy neck, till he hath destroyed thee. Jehovah doth lift up against thee a nation, from afar, from the end of the earth, as the eagle it fleeth, a nation whose tongue thou hast not heard. A nation, fierce of countenance, which accepteth not the face of the aged, and the young doth not favor. And it hath eaten the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, till thou art destroyed, which leaveth not to thee corn, new wine, and oil, increase of thine oxen, and wealth of thy flock, till it hath destroyed thee. And it hath laid siege to thee in all thy gates, till thy walls come down, the high and the fenced ones in which thou art trusting, in all thy land, yea, it hath laid siege to thee in all thy gates, in all thy land, which Jehovah thy God hath given to thee. And thou hast eaten the fruit of thy body, flesh of thy sons and thy daughters, whom Jehovah thy God hath given to thee, in the siege, and in the straightness with which thine enemies do straighten thee. The man who is tender in thee, and who, is, very delicate, his eye is evil against his brother, and against the wife of his bosom, and against the remnant of his sons whom he leaveth. Against giving to one of them of the flesh of his sons whom he eateth, because he hath nothing left to him, in the siege, and in the straightness with which thine enemy doth straighten thee in all thy gates. The tender woman in thee, and the delicate, who hath not tried the sole of her foot to place on the ground because of delicateness and because of tenderness, her eye is evil against the husband of her bosom, and against her son, and against her daughter. And against her seed which cometh out from between her feet, even against her sons whom she doth bear, for she doth eat them for the lacking of all things in secret, in the siege and in the straightness with which thine enemy doth straighten thee within thy gates. If thou dost not observe to do all the words of this law which are written in this book, to fear this honored and fearful name, Jehovah thy God. Then hath Jehovah made wonderful thy strokes, and the strokes of thy seed, great strokes, and steadfast, and evil sicknesses, and steadfast. And he hath brought back on thee all the diseases of Egypt, of the presence of which thou hast been afraid, and they have cleaved to thee. Also every sickness and every stroke which is not written in the book of this law, Jehovah doth cause them to go up upon thee till thou art destroyed. And ye have been left with few men, instead of which ye have been as stars of the heavens for multitude, because thou hast not hearkened to the voice of Jehovah thy God. And it hath been, as Jehovah hath rejoiced over you to do you good, and to multiply you, so doth Jehovah rejoice over you to destroy you, and to lay you waste, and ye have been pulled away from off the ground whither thou art going in to possess it. And Jehovah hath scattered thee among all the peoples, from the end of the earth even unto the end of the earth, and thou hast served their other gods which thou hast not known, thou and thy fathers, wood and stone. And among those nations thou dost not rest, yea, there is no resting place for the sole of thy foot, and Jehovah hath given to thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and grief of soul. And thy life hath been hanging in suspense before thee, and thou hast been afraid by night and by day, and dost not believe in thy life. In the morning thou sayest, O oh, that it were evening. And in the evening thou sayest, O oh, that it were morning. From the fear of thy heart, with which thou art afraid, and from the sight of thine eyes which thou sayest. 
And Jehovah hath brought thee back to Egypt with ships, by a way of which I said to thee, Thou dost not add any more to see it, and ye have sold yourselves there to thine enemies, for men servants, and for maid servants, and there is no buyer. Chapter 29 These, are, the words of the covenant which Jehovah hath commanded Moses to make with the sons of Israel in the land of Moab, apart from the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. And Moses calleth unto all Israel, and saith unto them, Ye, ye have seen all that which Jehovah hath done before your eyes in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh, and to all his servants, and to all his land. The great trials which thine eyes have seen, the signs, and those great wonders. And Jehovah hath not given to you a heart to know, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, till this day. And I cause you to go forty years in a wilderness, your garments have not been consumed from off you, and thy shoe hath not worn away from off thy foot. Bread ye have not eaten, and wine and strong drink ye have not drunk, so that ye know that I, am, Jehovah your God. And ye come in unto this place, and Sion king of Heshbon also O G king of Bashan doth come out to meet us, to battle, and we smite them. And take their land, and give it for an inheritance to the Reubenite, and to the Gadite, and to the half of the tribe of Manasseh. And ye have kept the words of this covenant, and done them, so that ye cause all that ye do to prosper. Ye are standing today, all of you, before Jehovah your God, your heads, your tribes, your elders, and your authorities every man of Israel. Your infants, your wives, and thy sojourner who, is, in the midst of thy camps, from the hewer of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water. For thy passing over into the covenant of Jehovah thy God, and into his oath which Jehovah thy God is making with thee today. In order to establish thee today to him for a people, and he himself is thy God, as he hath spoken to thee, and as he hath sworn to thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And not with you alone am I making this covenant and this oath. But with him who is here with us, standing today before Jehovah our God, and with him who is not here with us today. For ye have known how ye dwelt in the land of Egypt, and how we passed by through the midst of the nations which ye have passed by. And ye see their abominations, and their idols, wood and stone, silver and gold, which, are, with them. Lest there be among you a man or woman, or family or tribe, whose heart is turning today from Jehovah our God, to go to serve the gods of those nations, lest there be in you a root fruitful of gall and wormwood. And it hath been, in his hearing the words of this oath, and he hath blessed himself in his heart, saying, I have peace, though in the stubbornness of my heart I go on, in order to end the fullness with the thirst. Jehovah is not willing to be propitious to him, for then doth the anger of Jehovah smoke, also his zeal, against that man, and laying down on him hath all the oath which is written in this book, and Jehovah hath blotted out his name from under the heavens. And Jehovah hath separated him for evil, out of all the tribes of Israel, according to all the oaths of the covenant which is written in this book of the law. And the latter generation of your sons who rise after you, and the stranger who cometh in from a land afar off, have said when they have seen the strokes of that land, and its sicknesses which Jehovah hath sent into it. With, brimstone and salt is the whole land burnt, it is not sown, nor doth it shoot up, nor doth there go up on it any herb, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim, which Jehovah overturned in his anger, and in his fury. Yea, all the nations have said, Wherefore hath Jehovah done thus to this land? What the heat of this great anger! And they have said, Because that they have forsaken the covenant of Jehovah, God of their fathers, which he made with them in his bringing them out of the land of Egypt. And they go and serve other gods, and bow themselves to them gods which they have not known, and which he hath not apportioned to them. And the anger of Jehovah burneth against that land, to bring in on it all the reviling that is written in this book. And Jehovah doth pluck them from off their ground in anger, and in fury, and in great wrath, and doth cast them unto another land, as, at, this day. The things hidden, are, to Jehovah our God, and the things revealed, are, to us and to our sons, to the age, to do all the words of this law. Chapter 30 And it hath been, 
When all these things come upon thee, the blessing and the reviling, which I have set before thee, and thou hast brought, them, back unto thy heart, among all the nations whither Jehovah thy God hath driven thee away. And hast turned back unto Jehovah thy God, and hearkened to his voice, according to all that I am commanding thee today, thou and thy sons, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. Then hath Jehovah thy God turned back, to, thy captivity, and pitted thee, yea, he hath turned back and gathered thee out of all the peoples whither Jehovah thy God hath scattered thee. If thine outcast is in the extremity of the heavens, thence doth Jehovah thy God gather thee, and thence he doth take thee. And Jehovah thy God hath brought thee in unto the land which thy fathers have possessed, and thou hast inherited it, and he hath done thee good, and multiplied thee above thy fathers. And Jehovah thy God hath circumcised thy heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love Jehovah thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, for the sake of thy life. And Jehovah thy God hath put all this oath on thine enemies, and on those hating thee, who have pursued thee. And thou dost turn back, and hast hearkened to the voice of Jehovah, and hast done all his commands which I am commanding thee today. And Jehovah thy God hath made thee abundant in every work of thy hand, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, for good, for Jehovah turneth back to rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. For thou dost hearken to the voice of Jehovah thy God, to keep his commands, and his statutes, which are written in the book of this law, for thou turnest back unto Jehovah thy God, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. For this command which I am commanding thee today, it is not too wonderful for thee, nor, is, it far off. It is not in the heavens, saying, Who doth go up for us into the heavens, and doth take it for us, and doth cause us to hear it, that we may do it. And it, is, not beyond the sea, saying, Who doth pass over for us beyond the sea, and doth take it for us, and doth cause us to hear it, that we may do it? For very near unto thee is the word, in thy mouth, and in thy heart, to do it. See, I have set before thee today life and good, and death and evil. In that I am commanding thee today to love Jehovah thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commands, and his statutes, and his judgments, and thou hast lived and multiplied, and Jehovah thy God hath blessed thee in the land whither thou art going in to possess it. And if thy heart doth turn, and thou dost not hearken, and hast been driven away, and hast bowed thyself to other gods, and served them. I have declared to you this day, that ye do certainly perish, ye do not prolong days on the ground which thou art passing over the Jordan to go in thither to possess it. I have caused to testify against you today the heavens and the earth, life and death I have set before thee, the blessing and the reviling, and thou hast fixed on life, so that thou dost live, thou and thy seed. To love Jehovah thy God, to hearken to his voice, and to cleave to him, for he, is, thy life, and the length of thy days, to dwell on the ground which Jehovah hath sworn to thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them. Chapter 31 And Moses goeth and speaketh these words unto all Israel. And he saith unto them, A son of a hundred and twenty years, am, I today, I am not able any more to go out and to come in, and Jehovah hath said unto me, Thou dost not pass over this Jordan. Jehovah thy God he is passing over before thee, he doth destroy these nations from before thee, and thou hast possessed them, Joshua, he is passing over before thee as Jehovah hath spoken. And Jehovah hath done to them as he hath done to Sion and to O.G., kings of the Amorite, and to their land, whom he destroyed. And Jehovah hath given them before your face, and ye have done to them according to all the command which I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous, fear not, nor be terrified because of them, for Jehovah thy God, is, he who is going with thee, he doth not fail thee nor forsake thee. And Moses calleth for Joshua, and saith unto him before the eyes of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for thou, thou dost go in with this people unto the land which Jehovah hath sworn to their fathers to give to them, and thou, thou dost cause them to inherit it. And Jehovah, is, he who is going before thee, he himself is with thee, he doth not fail thee nor forsake thee, fear not, nor be affrighted. 
And Moses writeth this law, and giveth it unto the priests, sons of Levi, those bearing the ark of the covenant of Jehovah, and unto all the elders of Israel. And Moses commandeth them, saying, At the end of seven years, in the appointed time, the year of release, in the feast of booths. In the coming in of all Israel to see the face of Jehovah in the place which he chooseth, thou dost proclaim this law before all Israel, in their ears. Assemble the people, the men, and the women, and the infants, and thy sojourner who, is, within thy gates, so that they hear, and so that they learn, and have feared Jehovah your God, and observe to do all the words of this law. And their sons, who have not known, do hear, and have learned to fear Jehovah your God all the days which ye are living on the ground whither ye are passing over the Jordan to possess it. And Jehovah saith unto Moses, Lo, thy days have drawn near to die, call Joshua, and station yourselves in the tent of meeting, and I charge him, and Moses goeth Joshua also, and they station themselves in the tent of meeting. And Jehovah is seen in the tent, in a pillar of a cloud, and the pillar of the cloud standeth at the opening of the tent. And Jehovah saith unto Moses, Lo, thou art lying down with thy fathers, and this people hath risen, and gone a whoring after the gods of the stranger of the land into the midst of which it hath entered, and forsaken me, and broken my covenant which I made with it. And mine anger hath burned against it in that day, and I have forsaken them, and hidden my face from them, and it hath been for consumption, and many evils and distresses have found it, and it hath said in that day, Is it not because that my God is not in my midst, these evils have found me? And I certainly hide my face in that day for all the evil which it hath done, for it hath turned unto other gods. And now, write for you this song, and teach it the sons of Israel, put it in their mouths, so that this song is to me for a witness against the sons of Israel. And I bring them in unto the ground which I have sworn to their fathers flowing with milk and honey, and they have eaten, and been satisfied, and been fat, and have turned unto other gods, and they have served them, and despised me, and broken my covenant. And it hath been, when many evils and distresses do meet it, that this song hath testified to its face for a witness, for it is not forgotten out of the mouth of its seed, for I have known its imagining which it is doing today, before I bring them in unto the land of which I have sworn. And Moses writeth this song on that day, and doth teach it the sons of Israel. And he commandeth Joshua son of Nun, and saith, Be strong and courageous, for thou dost bring in the sons of Israel unto the land which I have sworn to them, and I, I am with thee. And it cometh to pass, when Moses finisheth to write the words of this law on a book till their completion. That Moses commandeth the Levites bearing the ark of the covenant of Jehovah, saying, Take this book of the law, and thou hast set it on the side of the ark of the covenant of Jehovah your God, and it hath been there against thee for a witness. For I, I have known thy rebellion, and thy stiff neck, lo, in my being yet alive with you today, rebellious ye have been with Jehovah, and also surely after my death. Assemble unto me all the elders of your tribes, and your authorities, and I speak in their ears these words, and cause to testify against them the heavens and the earth. For I have known that after my death ye do very corruptly, and have turned aside out of the way which I commanded you, and evil hath met you in the latter end of the days, because ye do the evil thing in the eyes of Jehovah, to make him angry with the work of your hands. And Moses speaketh in the ears of all the assembly of Israel the words of this song, till their completion. Chapter 32 Give ear, O heavens, and I speak, and thou dost hear, O earth, sayings of my mouth. Drop as rain doth my doctrine, flow as dew doth my sayings, as storms on the tender grass, and as showers on the herb. For the name of Jehovah I proclaim, ascribe ye greatness to our God. The rock. Perfect, is, his work, for all his ways, are, just, God of steadfastness, and without iniquity, righteous and upright, is, he. It hath done corruptly to him, their blemish is not his sons, a generation perverse and crooked. To Jehovah do ye act thus, O people foolish and not wise? Is not he thy father, thy possessor? He made thee, and doth establish thee. Remember days of old, understand the years of many generations, ask thy father, and he doth tell thee, thine elders, 
and they say to thee. In the most high causing nations to inherit, in his separating sons of Adam, he setteth up the borders of the peoples by the number of the sons of Israel. For Jehovah's portion, is, his people, Jacob, is, the line of his inheritance. He findeth him in a land a desert, and in a void a howling wilderness, he turneth him round, he causeth him to understand, he keepeth him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle waketh up its nest, over its young ones fluttereth, spreadeth its wings, taketh them, beareth them on its pinions. Jehovah alone doth lead him, and there is no strange God with him. He mocketh him ride on high places of earth, and he eateth increase of the fields, and he mocketh him suck honey from a rock, and oil out of the flint of a rock. Butter of the herd, and milk of the flock, with fat of lambs, and rams, sons of Bashan, and he goats, with fat of kidneys of wheat, and of the blood of the grape thou dost drink wine. And Jeshurun waxeth fat, and doth kick, thou hast been fat, thou hast been thick, thou hast been covered. And he leaveth God who made him, and dishonoreth the rock of his salvation. They make him zealous with strangers, with abominations they make him angry. They sacrifice to demons, no God. Gods they have not known, new ones, from the vicinity they came, not feared them have your fathers. The rock that begot thee thou forgettest, and neglectest God who formeth thee. And Jehovah seeth and despiseth for the provocation of his sons and his daughters. And he saith, I hide my face from them, I see what, is, their latter end, for a froward generation, are, they, sons in whom is no steadfastness. They have made me zealous by no god, they made me angry by their vanities, and I make them zealous by no people, by a foolish nation I make them angry. For a fire hath been kindled in mine anger, and it burneth unto Sheol, the lowest, and consumeth earth and its increase, and setteth on fire foundations of mountains. I gather upon them evils, mine arrows I consume upon them. Exhausted by famine, and consumed by heat, and bitter destruction. And the teeth of beasts I send upon them, with poison of fearful things of the dust. Without bereave doth the sword, and at the inner chambers, fear, both youth and virgin, suckling with man of grey hair. I have said, I blow them away, I cause their remembrance to cease from man. If not, the anger of an enemy I fear, lest their adversaries know, lest they say, Our hand is high, and Jehovah hath not wrought all this. For a nation lost to counsels, are, they, and there is no understanding in them. If they were wise they deal wisely, with, this, they attend to their latter end. How doth one pursue a thousand, and two cause a myriad to flee? If not, that their rock hath sold them, and Jehovah hath shut them up? For not as our rock, is, their rock, and our enemies, are, judges. For of the vine of Sodom their vine, is, and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes, are, grapes of gall, they have bitter clusters. The poison of dragons, is, their wine and the fierce venom of Azsalm. Is it not laid up with me? Sealed among my treasures? Mine, are, vengeance and recompense, at the due time doth their foot slide, for near is a day of their calamity, and haste do things prepared for them. For Jehovah doth judge his people, and for his servants doth repent himself. For he seeth the going away of power, and none is restrained and left. And he hath said, Where, are, their gods, the rock in which they trusted? Which the fat of their sacrifices do eat, they drink the wine of their libation. Let them arise and help you, let it be for you a hiding place. See ye, now, that I, I, am, he, and there is no God with me, I put to death, and I keep alive, I have smitten, and I heal, and there is not from my hand a deliverer. For I lift up unto the heavens my hand, and have said, I live to the age. If I have sharpened the brightness of my sword, and my hand doth lay hold on judgment, I turn back vengeance to mine adversaries, and to those hating me, I repay. I make drunk mine arrows with blood, and my sword devoureth flesh, from the blood of the pierced and captive, from the head of the freeman of the enemy. Sing ye nations, with, his people, 
for the blood of his servants he avengeth, and vengeance he turneth back on his adversaries, and hath pardoned his land, his people. And Moses cometh and speaketh all the words of this song in the ears of the people, he and Hosea son of Nun. And Moses finisheth to speak all these words unto all Israel. And saith unto them, Set your heart to all the words which I am testifying against you today, that ye command your sons to observe to do all the words of this law. For it, is, not a vain thing for you, for it, is, your life, and by this thing ye prolong days on the ground whither ye are passing over the Jordan to possess it. And Jehovah speaketh unto Moses, in this selfsame day, saying, Go up unto this Mount Abram, Mount Nebo, which, is, in the land of Moab, which, is, on the front of Jericho, and see the land of Canaan which I am giving to the sons of Israel for a possession. And die in the mount whither thou art going up, and be gathered unto thy people, as Aaron thy brother hath died in the mount Hor, and is gathered unto his people. Because ye trespassed against me in the midst of the sons of Israel at the waters of Meribath Kadesh, the wilderness of Zin because ye sanctified me not in the midst of the sons of Israel. But over against thou sayest the land, and thither thou dost not go in, unto the land which I am giving to the sons of Israel. Chapter 33 And this, is, the blessing, with, which Moses the man of God blessed the sons of Israel before his death. And he saith, Jehovah from Sinai hath come, and hath risen from Seir for them, he hath shone from Mount Paran, and hath come, with, myriads of holy ones, at his right hand, are, springs for them. Also he, is, loving the peoples, all his holy ones, are, in thy hand, and they, they sat down at thy foot, each, he lifteth up at thy words. A law hath Moses commanded us, a possession of the assembly of Jacob. And he is in Jeshurun king, in the heads of the people gathering together, the tribes of Israel. Let Reuben live, and not die, and let his men be a number. And this, is, for Judah, and he saith, Hear, O Jehovah, the voice of Judah, and unto his people do thou bring him in, his hand hath striven for him, and in help from his adversaries art thou. And of Levi he said, Thy Thummim and thy Urim, are, for thy pious one, whom thou hast tried in Massa, thou dost strive with him at the waters of Meribah. Who is saying of his father and his mother, I have not seen him, and his brethren he hath not discerned, and his sons he hath not known, for they have observed thy saying, and thy covenant they keep. They teach thy judgments to Jacob, and thy law to Israel, they put perfume in thy nose, and whole burnt offering on thine altar. Bless, O Jehovah, his strength, and the work of his hands thou acceptest, smite the loins of his withstanders, and of those hating him, that they rise not. Of Benjamin he said, The beloved of Jehovah doth tabernacle confidently by him, covering him over all the day, yea, between his shoulders he doth tabernacle. And of Joseph he said, Blessed of Jehovah, is, his land, by precious things of the heavens, by dew, and by the deep crouching beneath. And by precious things, fruits of the sun, and by precious things, cast forth by the moons. And by chief things, of the ancient mountains, and by precious things, of the age during heights. And by precious things, of earth and its fullness, and the good pleasure of him who is dwelling in the bush, let it come for the head of Joseph, and for the crown of him who is separate from his brethren. His honor, is, a firstling of his ox, and his horns, are, horns of a reem, by them peoples he doth push together to the ends of earth, and they, are, the myriads of Ephraim, and they, are, the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulun he said, Rejoice, O Zebulun, in thy going out, and, O Issachar, in thy tents. Peoples, to, the mountain they call, there they sacrifice righteous sacrifices, for the abundance of the seas they suck, and hidden things hidden in the sand. And of Gad he said, Blessed of the enlarger, is, Gad, as a lioness he doth tabernacle, and hath torn the arm also the crown. And he provideth the first part for himself, for there the portion of the lawgiver is covered, and he cometh, with, the heads of the people, the righteousness of Jehovah he hath done, and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan, is, a lion's whelp, 
he doth leap from Bashan. And of Naphtali he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with pleasure, and full of the blessing of Jehovah, west and south possess thou. And of Asher he said, Blessed with sons, is, Asher, let him be accepted by his brethren, and dipping in oil his foot. Iron and brass, are, thy shoes, and as thy days, thy strength. There is none like the God of Jeshurun, riding the heavens in thy help, and in his excellency the skies. A habitation, is, the eternal God, and beneath, are, arms age during. And he casteth out from thy presence the enemy, and saith, Destroy. And Israel doth tabernacle, in, confidence alone, the eye of Jacob, is, unto a land of corn and wine, also his heavens drop down dew. O thy happiness, O Israel! Who is like thee? A people saved by Jehovah, the shield of thy help, and he who, is, the sword of thine excellency, and thine enemies are subdued for thee, and thou on their high places dost tread. Chapter 34 And Moses goeth up from the plains of Moab unto Mount Nebo, the top of Pisgah, which, is, on the front of Jericho, and Jehovah sheweth him all the land Gilead unto Dan. And all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah unto the further sea. And the south, and the circuit of the valley of Jericho, the city of Palms, unto Zor. And Jehovah saith unto him, This, is, the land which I have sworn to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, To thy seed I give it, I have caused thee to see with thine eyes, and thither thou dost not pass over. And Moses, servant of the Lord, dieth there, in the land of Moab, according to the command of Jehovah. And he buryeth him in a valley in the land of Moab, over against Beth Peor, and no man hath known his burying place unto this day. And Moses, is, a son of a hundred and twenty years when he dieth, his eye hath not become dim, nor hath his moisture fled. And the sons of Israel bewail Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days, and the days of weeping, and, mourning for Moses are completed. And Joshua son of Nun is full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the sons of Israel hearken unto him, and do as Jehovah commanded Moses. And there hath not arisen a prophet any more in Israel like Moses, whom Jehovah hath known face unto face. In reference to all the signs and the wonders which Jehovah sent him to do in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh, and to all his servants, and to all his land. And in reference to all the strong hand, and to all the great fear which Moses did before the eyes of all Israel.